Let's go blues. Let's go blues. What are you wearing? A Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Canadian. And I'm a hockey player. <laughs> Let's go blues. Hawaii Blues fan, we're bleeding blue Let's with you. Let's go blues. 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 Have you missed me? If you have, I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, on you. Uh, I am back, at least for today's game. Um, man, I don't know what to tell you. The season's done. There's a I I seen something today that had our chances at four percent, which I thought was really fucked up because they had the wild who was three points behind us at six percent, which made no sense to me. I think our chances are ten percent. To be honest, I think our chances are ten percent, but that's it. No more, and a lot less. You know, you got to win out nine games, and, and and the chances of that aren't very high. Are not very high at all. Now I saw a rumor that my buddy uh, Lance put in the uh, Hawaii Blues fan clan today. Um, I'm sorry, Lance. Someone is fucking with you because there's no way that's going to happen. I mean, absolutely, positively none. That no, no, no. I, I I looked at. I don't even want to go over it any more important than that. And, 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 and you know what he put out in the trade, but there's just no fucking way. If that trade was made, I wouldn't just fire Armstrong. I'd string him up on a yard arm by his nuts. That's how fucked up that trade is. No way in hell would I make that trade. I, I honestly think somebody, because I've had people throw shit like that out to me. I've had people throw shit out like that to me. And, and you know what? Then he got me. If that's the case, he fucking got me. But I know Lance doesn't do jokes. Lance doesn't do April Fool's. That's not Lance. I think somebody April fooled Lance and he, and he sent it on. That That's why... Yeah, there, there's no fucking way. None. Right? So, if you want to know what happened on Saturday. Saturday, I had a tax appointment. Had to get my taxes done at noon. I was not sure if they were going to get done in time for me to get back for the game. Plus, I uh, last weekend, last Saturday, after the game, I started doing lift. And I had a bonus that weekend. I got $300 if I did 40 rides, and I ended up blowing by that. And I made good money last weekend. Well, all these ride services do tiers, right? And Lyft is no different. They do tiers. Well, the top tier is Elite. And in order to get Elite, now they do theirs. Uber does it every quarter. You have to earn a certain amount of points every quarter. Lyft, are, you have to earn a certain amount of points every month. Now, they do their points differently. Uh, On Uber, during regular days, during just a regular, you get one point per ride. During their high times, which is like sometimes in the, you know, during rush hour and also um, during the weekends, you can get three points per trip, right? You need 300 points for Uber. You need 300 points for each gold, uh, 600 for platinum, and diamond is 1,200. Diamond, you can, I've done it in, in five weeks, right? I've gotten diamond in five weeks. It's not easy, but it can be done. Now, with this, the way Lyft does it, it's one point per dollar that you earn during the high time periods. And, and that's a little bit harder. Um, to get to gold is like a snap, 
right? It's not that hard, but get to platinum or elite, then you're really pushing it. And I had to push it this weekend to get to those points. To get to um, diamond and elite. I think I got... I think I caught platinum Friday. I got ended up getting platinum on Friday. Friday night. And and then I got Saturday night. Actually I got platinum. I, I got I take that back. I got platinum early Friday morning. Like I was close when I went on for it. Really close. So I ended up getting that Friday morning. And Saturday, when I when I came off of uh, when I started Saturday, I needed like $330, 330, a little bit under 330. And I ended up getting it, uh, last night before I came, before I clocked or Saturday night before I clocked out. So I took Sunday off. Uh, I'm taking some time off today. I may drive later, but I want to, I'm going to maintain that. I want to come home and to come home. I got to put money in the bank, put money in the bank, clear some cards. So I have room so I can come home and do the things I want to do for as long as I want to do it. So that's what's going on, right? And I guess from the lack of your comments, either A, Facebook is still fucking up, or you just don't care. Thank you, Jason Nichols. I, I know now that Facebook is not doing good, and right now four people are watching. And there's the other thing, right? Nothing against those that are watching, but when only four people are watching, it, it, it it's almost... I'm I'm at the point where it's it's not worth it for me anymore. I'm not getting enjoyment out of four people. I'm not getting enjoyment out of talking to myself. I used to. I'm not anymore. And it's not against you guys. Absolutely not. Don't want you to take it that way. Right? Don't want you to take it that way. Right? I, I really don't. I, I, I'm I don't know what to do anymore. The show has regressed. It's not it, it, it's not going up. It's going backwards. And and, and it's just it, it it's disheartening for me. And I apologize to you guys that watch me on a regular basis and really enjoy it and all of that. But um It is what it is, guys. And, and I don't mean that in any other way than what it, it sounds. It is what it is. So please forgive me. Um, I do love each and every one of you. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think so, but maybe it will. I just sent a, a <laughs> I just put, told 483,000 people that I was doing a show. Uh, like that's going to do me any good. Probably not. Okay. So the Blues are taking on the Oilers. Um, JJ says, I have a lot of friends that make good money doing that. You can, but you a lot of taxes to it too. You got to be careful with that. You can also get in a hole really, really quick. Um, we'll see if if that worked. If I get if, if if my numbers jump up, I doubt it. My numbers are what they are. They suck. So, uh, taking on the Edmonton Oilers today. God, I, April first, man. We got nine games left. Um, Blue Jackets. Couldn't beat anybody else. They're beating the Avalanche two to nothing, right? Uh, that loss, I listened to. I listened to the entire game against um, the Sharks, and, and and they came out somewhat okay, but the goalie just what? I, and I can't remember his name, but he wasn't giving anything up. He he just was not going to give anything up, and and. You put 35 shots on net, you got to score, right? You cannot let a goalie beat you like that, especially one who hasn't played that much this season and been injured. So, um, 
Right. And that's, that's the point. That's the thing that, that, and, and the second period was lackluster. They went five or 10 minutes, almost, almost 10 minutes in the first period before they got the first shot on goal. You can't do that. Right. There was no listening to the radio, listening to curbs. There was no sense of urgency in that team at all. None. Now, I wish Bob Martin was here. I wish Ryan Green was here. I wish Matt Lowe was here. Because I'm going to say this now, and I may be wrong on it completely being on the, you know, on it being on the coach as much as I was before. I I, I think there is something going on in that locker room that is absolutely really bad. Really, really bad. And they, for whatever reason, are not playing for each other. There, there is something going on in that locker room. They are not playing for each other. Hey, Roland! Roland Morris, thank you. Um, they, they cannot do... They're just not playing for each other. And there's something going on in the locker room. Now, you know what? You can sit there and tell me all day long, oh, no, 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 this, that, and other thing. And, and, and I, I'm sorry. I'm going to die on the Cairo train. I don't think Cairo is that is the player that everybody thinks he is, is this horrible-ass player that doesn't give – he's a freaking offensive player, always was an offensive player. Uh, and he tried. they tried to make him a defensive player, and it fucked his game up. And it has fucked his game up. And he's got to realize that, you know what, get back to your game. Get back to your game. Get back to your offensive game. Right? They put Blaze in. Bla- I don't even remember hearing Blaze's name. I don't remember hearing Blaze's name at all. Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's a split within the old guard itself. I really do. I think there's a split within the the... The, the old guard itself. Hey, Lance, man. Hello. Are your ears burning? No, nah, they're, they're, they're just slightly hot. Because I was talking about you earlier. Um, was that an April Fool's joke that you put in the uh, the group? Of course it was. Because <laughs> hey, you got me then. I saw that and I went, what the? F-? I thought, because I've had people send shit like that to me, right? When I was getting trolled, they would send these crazy trades and shit that, oh, this I know this is going to happen in that. And I'm thinking, man, someone, someone fucked with Lance really bad, and Lance just didn't catch the joke of it and posted it. And I was like, motherfucker. So you got me then. <laughs> I got a lot of people. Right? Yeah. Um, that, 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 there, there was no way that was going to happen. <laughs> if... I said this earlier. I said, if that happens, I'm going to string Armstrong up on a yard on by his balls. Right? You with me? Yep. Yeah, I I figured it would make some people upset and other people would be really happy except for Thomas. No, that that's you can't make that trade. There is no, no way. Um, I... I, I I listened to, I didn't do a show on Saturday. I listened to the game. There was no urgency. I I think that there is a locker room issue now that's not been talked about or not coming up. And, and Shockey asked, could it be old guard versus new guard? And I actually think it's old guard versus old guard. I think there's a split within the veterans of this team, right? And, and, and I think there's a, a split in the, the style of play, right? I, I, I think that, Oh, God, I, I don't know how to say this without making it not sound good. Um, or bad, actually, I should say. The stink of Baruby system is still in that locker room. Well, you, you right? know, you, you know, if, if you go to a bar that allows smoking yeah. and you're in there and even though you don't smoke, when you leave, you still smell like smoke. Yeah. And if you don't change your clothes and change things up, uh, you're still going to smell like smoke. It, it's it's kind of like that. Plus, I'm a, I will tell you this. There are some people that don't feel that Braden Shin should have gotten the C. I don't. I thought yeah. it should have gone to Thomas. Yeah, I, 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 I knew that's where they would go, but he's not been the same player for just like Steen. 
In Steen's last couple of years, yes, he had a great cup run because he finally agreed to play on the fourth line because before he wouldn't do it, he refused to do it. And th- that him being on the fourth line really helped the Blues win. Didn't he, didn't he have a didn't didn't Baruby bench him for a game before the didn't they they make him a healthy scratch? I think like, I think I think so. I think he was I for think one he was game. A healthy scratch like late late in the season, like the last couple of games, he was a healthy scratch. Yeah, yeah. And, he, he, and it wasn't like he was sit. They were sitting people because they were challenging for that top spot in the division, mm-hmm. right? They were challenging for it. Um, they were only, I mean, you got to remember they had 99 points that year. They were in third. They were only one point out of first, right? The only reason they were in third was, was regulation wins. They could have very easily ended up in first. They could have very easily won that division very easily. I'm glad they didn't, but they could have very easily won that division with all of that being said. Now, here's the other thing people aren't going to like today's game is on Hulu and ESPN plus. So it is not it is not a Bally Sports game. You cannot get the game on Bally Sports. Um and there's no pregame. I'm the only pregame. So um a real quick thank you to Sister JJ. I figured that uh he would he would be able to see through the the joke in the April Fools. My I, I, I will say this. My mental health this weekend has not been very good. So when I saw that this morning. I, I just like tuned it out. Like, no way. I, I think I put a, I put a, I think my quote, my, I forget what it was, but I, it was something like Lance. I think somebody got you. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's what you said. Yeah. yeah. Right. Cause there was no way. Um, I, I think it should have been three A's and no C. Ah, I think I no I think that's sending the wrong message to Thomas and Cairo. And I know people are not going to want to hear that with Kyle. You know, and I, I know some people don't like this either. I think Pareko could have uh-uh. gotten it. I would have given uh-uh. Pareko. I would have given Pareko over the C over Braden Shin. Okay, Pareko's had two bad seasons coming into this season. I knew Pareko was going to have a letter. I knew that it was not going to be a C. He was going to be an assistant. He had been an assistant. He. I don't feel like he was going to lose assistant due to injury. And I think that they kept that injury under, under wraps. I sure really they have. do. Sure. Right? They have. And, and, and that's why he's had a breakout season. He's had a comeback season this year. I'll admit that. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, I still don't think he's, he is not going to ever get to see. He's not, and God, I hate using this word. He's not tough enough. He's got two, two. You, you never see him argue with the even as an A. You never see him go out there, and that's his job. That's the thing. The only cup. Here's what things people people may not understand. If you do not have a letter on, and you go to the refs during dur, dur, about something, that's a penalty. The only players that can talk to the refs are the captains and the assistants. That's it. Right, that rule's there to keep guys that aren't in plays or guys, you know, from chirping. That's what the captain's job is, from being all over the refs, from from being on the refs. That's what the the captain's job is. Pareko, I've never even with the A, I've never seen him go after and go to a ref and tell a ref how fucked up shit is. Well, I, I I've never I, seen I, that from him. I have, I have seen him talk to the ref and and say things to him and chirp at him, to him when he skates. Go when off he on him. You've well, I've seen Shen. I've seen Thomas, I've seen Falk go off on the refs. I mean, go off. Tell him, I, I mean, really, that's fucked up. You're screwing this up. I, I've seen them say that through the mouthing. Pareko is too, you know, it really, that's kind of a bad thing that you just did. And that doesn't yeah, work but, as a letter. Yeah, but you, you don't judge a guy by the fact he doesn't get ticked at, at, um, at refs. You judge a guy by how he leads by his play and, and by how he does and practices, how he leads the team in the locker room. And I will tell you this, there are a lot of personnel around the league, player personnel, they consider Colton Pareko this year a top 10 defenseman in the league. I could see that this season, right? Um, 
I, I, I didn't see it. I didn't watch the game Saturday, so if he did it, I didn't hear it or see it because I was on the radio, but I didn't hear it. And a lot of times, Curbs will not talk about when the players are giving the refs an earful. No, he so, won't. He, he doesn't. Actually, I got to be honest. Or not, Cur- uh, yeah, it's, it's is it Curbs on the No, it's, um, yeah, Curbs on the radio. I got to be honest. I like Kelly. I, I know Curbs. I've, I've talked to Curbs a couple of times. I like Curbs personally, but I like Kelly better. I like Kelly better. Uh, I think Kelly calls the game so much better. All right, I really do. Uh, I could be wrong, but, I mean, that's just my, you know, it's an opinion thing. But I just like, I like how Curbs does, or, or, or how Kelly does it so much better. But I do think that they need to get, Kelly, somebody better. I think Joey and um, Jamie need to switch. I think Joey would be better on TV and Jamie would be better on radio. You agree with me or disagree with me there? I don't think you want Vitaly sitting between the benches. Um, I've lost a lot of respect from him, you know, when... Cal Rosen was up and talked about how Cal Rosen should be in the everyday lineup. And, you know, he could very easily be a top line defenseman. And it, it's just, he loses a lot of credibility with me when he just goes ape, ape over guys that are third, fourth line okay. centers, or even guys. I, to under, that, I think you have to understand something. Um, the blues do something that very few teams do. Their radio guys are hired by them. They work for the Blues. The TV guys work for Bally or whatever company that is. He gets forced to say that stuff. So that's why I don't hold that against him. That's why when when it's on the the radio, I don't hold it against him because I know that he's forced. He can't sit there and say, Rosen shouldn't be up every day. He's got to say, Rosen's that type of player that should be up every day. Well, yeah, but he doesn't have to go on and he doesn't have to go on and act like he's the best defenseman since Bobby Orr. I mean, you, all he's got to say is Rosen since since has been called up has been playing very well. He's done what he's supposed to do, and the Blues have really appreciated what he's done. He doesn't have to go on and talk about what a great defenseman you know he is. And yeah, you know, it's I understand you got to be a little bit of a homer, and I, I think he's a great guy, but. He needs to calm down a little bit on the praise he gives average to low end players. Actually, so let, I, I, I want to heal. I want to go this. Here's a question. Well, you got to remember, he was an average to low end player. So he's going to, that's the players that he's going to connect to. Right? He, he was talking about on the radio. I heard him talking about um, uh, talking to Blaze and talking to some of the other guys that were, you know, getting a lot of press box time. Right? Here's a question, too. Are they thinking longer term that Dvorsky will turn into a franchise player and want to hand him the C after the, after he's in the league a few years, extremely young captain, approaches is the thing in the new NHL? I, I, will, I will say no. They're not thinking that long term. Uh, um, Shen getting the captaincy had everything to do with Peruvi. Everything. Peruvi huh. didn't even want to have a captain. No. Th- Thomas will get Thomas Armstrong. will get the captain. Thomas will get the captain long before Dvorsky even yeah, sniffs. Yeah, it. yeah, I agree. All right, I absolutely agree. All right, I absolutely agree. Uh, I I don't see. Yeah, I I don't see. You know, and, and now here's the thing, Snugard. We can expect a decision from him today or tomorrow. Right. I, I mean, uh, now I was reading the article in the, I think it was uh, Post Dispatch about him. I think the best move for Snugard, especially where the Blues are right now, is to send him to the minors and not bring him up. Yep. You mean, you mean, I don't Snuggeroo? think he should waste the you, year. If he plays Snuggeroo? one game, it wastes the year. I don't yep. think you should waste that year. Do I you think you send him to the minors. I think, I think you mean Snuggerud? Yeah, Snuggerud. Who did I, who did I say? Snugard. Yeah, same thing. Snuggerud, yeah. Snugard, Snuggerud, same thing. Um, 
in my eyes. So, yeah. Uh, I still think uh, Thomas will need the, to be the next seat. Yeah, he will. He, he will be the next seat. I, I, and actually, I, I could see a coach coming in and, and changing it up and taking it away from Steen. Or not Steen. Fuck. Shin. Yeah, my head's just all over the place. I, I could really see uh, a new coach coming in to do that. I was hoping, I mean, I didn't mind Bannister, but right now I think Bannister hasn't corrected problems. No, he, he, he corrects them short term, Yep. but they're still there long term. They're still under the surface and they bubble up. They're rust and they bubble up through the paint. Right? So, yeah, it's way too many S's. I Oh, man, I would get Shen, Schwartz, and Steen all mixed up. All mixed up. Right? Um, I'm right now thinking that prior to prior to the draft, prior to the cup finals, the Blues will fire Armstrong. I have a feeling that I, I don't know. I think that they, they're going to sense that we need to make a change here. Right? Now, he did do something. The, the team that he put together, for everyone that's complaining about this team, I, I love it, too. I, oh, God. Cork. Oh, my goodness. Did Cork editorialize so much. But this team doesn't deserve the playoffs and all that. Beginning of the season, we were talking about this being a bottom 10 team. Now you're talking about missing the playoffs by a couple of points and complaining about it. The team over exceeded expectations and you're bitching. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. How, st- I mean, am I stupid? Am I missing something here? Hey, Michael, I'll have to disagree with you. I will guarantee you if, if Scotty Bowman started the year off as the coach, of the San Jose Sharks, they would be a better team. I will guarantee you that. My, I agree. So here's the thing. Is Bannister really to blame? Overall, no. Maybe this roster simply isn't good enough, has constructed. No, I disagree with that. I think it is. I think the problem is you have too many players that are Trying to do too many things instead of simplifying the game. Just uh, here, 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 here we go. Put it this way. I said this to somebody else. I think it was Ryan Green. I think I said this to Ryan Green. Now, bear in mind, I want to put this out. If you talk to me in the chat, in, in, in Messenger or something like that, unless you tell me something that you tell me is off the record or not to be repeated, everything you tell me is fair game. I'm putting that out. Unless you say it's off the record, everything in those chats, especially related to hockey, is fair game. If, if Baruby gets fired one week earlier, one week earlier, we're in the playoffs. We're in the playoffs if Baruby gets fired one week earlier. We win those three games that we lost, uh, that we should have won, that we lost, and, and we're in the playoffs. That's six more points. We're in the playoffs. Think about that. Does Bowman make the Sharks a playoff team? No, probably not. Probably not. But he's they're not going to be in the bottom. They're not going to be at the bottom. Right? And we have a lot better talent than they do. Right? And, and I don't know. I don't even know if they'd be in wild card contention. But yeah, I think they, would. they They wouldn't be. Yeah. They, they yeah, wouldn't they would. be. They wouldn't be in the bottom three. They'd be in the lottery but they'd be in the back end of the lottery. Let's let's put it this way. If he started before the draft with the Sharks as their head coach, our head coach slash GM, or he had a GM that he liked to work with, they would be sniffing a wild card spot. I, I, I can almost guarantee it. For for the Sharks or us? For the Sharks. Yeah. Oh, for the Blues? And, and I coach, think this is stupid. If, I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid to burn that. And how do you know he's going to sign long way? You don't know that. You don't know that. 
You absolutely don't know that. It makes no sense. In fact, you do better sending them down to the minors, getting some games, and letting them go through the playoffs with the minors instead of sitting here. Because here's the thing. If he plays for the Blues, if he plays for the Blues, he can't go down to the minors. Because he hasn't been down there yet, he won't be able to be on their playoff roster. If he signed and goes straight down, then he can be on their playoff roster. So so you can get him seven games because he's not showing today. We have nine left. He probably wouldn't start the next one if he signed him. Even if he signed today, I doubt he would play Thursday. I doubt it. But even if he plays Thursday, that's eight games, right? And we, we have nine left, right? Yeah, nine. So eight games. That's it. And that's all we would get until next year. If you send him down to the minors, they have five games left, plus at least a playoff round or more. You're going to get him probably more than the eight games. Right? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about keeping him because once they get to a certain point, it, they don't have to be three years in the – you can send a guy down if he's been there three years in the league, and he does have to clear waivers. So another team can take him. Yeah, yeah. That, that not, not now you don't. Not right now, no. Uh, you have – on his three-year entry level, on his three-year entry level, he's waiver exempt. Yep. It's after that. It's after it's that. After that. Jason, I don't know where you're hearing this, but they're, you're, you're – they're, I doubt – you know what? You don't know. There, there's so much – there's so much X factor in that. You, they're, you're making an assumption of so many things, right? Look, when – when um oh – Oh, who Fabry? Oh my Fabry! Everybody thought Fabry was going to be the guy here and long-term contract, going to be here forever. And he had all the injuries. There's too many X factors there, bud. And, and here, here's another thing: the, 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 they're not going to sign him to a multi-year deal until after not his entry level, but till after his second contract is up. Yeah. And then, yep. and then in that last year, if they like him, then they'll do what they did with 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 Kairou. And then they'll 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 sign him long term if if they want to. They're not going to uh, sign him at his age right now to seven years. There's no need to do it. Right? Yeah. Um. I, I you know I back off some of that. I, I I back off some of that because, you know, a a lot of what's being said isn't from Rivers himself. It's from fans, and he's responding to it. Right? And he's and he's placating fans. That's what I do it. I placate fans sometimes. Sometimes I don't. But um, what if Scotty Bowman coached these blue uh, this year's Blues team? They would be in the playoffs. I'm I, I think they'd be challenging for the division. I really do. It would definitely be in the top two teams in the in the division. I guarantee it. That's how much I respect and how much I like Scotty Bowman. And it has not you know people say, well, he was a Detroit coach. I don't care. The man was the greatest coach to ever coach this game. And he's taken bad teams that had yeah. no reason making the playoffs into the playoffs. Yeah. No. Yep. And, and he. Bowman never had a system. Right. Bowman didn't have a system. Bowman looked at what players he had and what was their strengths. That's right. And worked, put them work to their strengths. If it, for example, Brett Hull, what is his weakness? Defense, right? Not a defensive guy. So what does he do? He puts him on the third line with a young, speedy guy and says, teach this guy how to play offense. Yep. That's what you know how to do. Bowman yep. never bitched at Hull nope. for losing a puck. Nope. Uh, and, and Bowman always said, as a head coach, and I've heard it in his book, and I've heard him say it in interviews. As a head coach, you kind of do have a, a way the way you want your team to play. He says, you can call it a system, you can't. He says, but I took players and said, okay, this guy's a pure goal scorer. This guy would work well with this guy. This guy would work well with that guy. I yeah. never, ever made a player do something he could not do. All right. You, you don't. Bowman believe you associate 
the positive. Yeah. And, 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 and you hide the negative. That's right. Right? You don't work on the negative. You work on it, but you also hide yeah. it. You, if, yeah. if a guy is not good defensively, you don't put him in on defensive situations. Yeah, he, he he put people he put people in place where they succeed that minimized their weaknesses. Right. What if Tortorella coached the Blues? Yeah, wouldn't gonna happen. <laughs> um, but we we this team would probably be at the bottom. They would they would not you you couldn't go from Baruby to Tortorella. You you couldn't. That's the same coach. And, and if you're if if Baruby lost the locker room, how is Tortorella gonna get it? Uh, Scotty did coach the Russian in the past like they did. He allowed them to because that was the USR system, and they were good. Yeah, he he took the Russian five and said, you know what? It was I think that was the first time in the NHL that you had a five man line, right? That that you had a five. Any time that the Russian three were on the ice, the two defensemen went with them. Yep. Right. They, they really, and especially power play, oh, my goodness, mm -hmm. right? And, and they they communicated. They worked together well. That is the one thing that I, I see with this team. They don't talk, they, and they haven't. Since the bubble, this team hasn't talked to each other. You don't hear it on the ice. You don't see the, tick stats, the stick taps. You don't see... Um, like Bennington will call things out, and guys, for some reason, don't go there or don't hear him or whatever it is. But th there's things that just don't make sense. Uh, and the chatter on the bench when they do talk is very short. Yeah. Right. And, and that was Hoffer against the uh, against the Sharks, and and he didn't play bad. But no. He didn't play good either. No. Right. The whole team didn't play good. I look, Hofer is going to be that goalie. He is. He's going to be a star in this league. And he, he's gonna eventually push Bennington out of the out of out of St. Louis. He will. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I I it, that's why you drafted him. Right? That's why Bennington got the six the six by six. Mm -hmm. That's exactly why Bennington got a six by six. You were looking down the road, you were looking yep. at what you had. And, and, and you projected it, and that's what you projected. And then you caught Jerzinko, and Jerzinko's right there. You could have two very powerful, young, young goalies, 1A, 1B, that can do 41 games a year. Well, I wanted to talk to you about what you said about Armstrong earlier. Right now, and I know for a fact, Stillman is looking to Armstrong for the draft and what they're going to do. They've had meetings about it. And as far as I know, they have zero plans of firing him. I he won't be fired. I'm I'm not so sure of that. I, I'll, I stake, really I'll, I'll, I'll stake my reputation on it. No, I mean that's. But we'll we'll never know. I mean, you can say because they don't fire him means they didn't have plans. They don't. But they may have plans and just decided not to do them. And the other way, they did. They could fire him, and I could go, oh, well, see, they had plans to fire him. When they didn't, they was just our last minute. You know what? I woke up this morning, I had an itch in my ass, and decided to let him go. You know, so you don't know. It is on ESPN Plus and Hulu. ESPN Plus and Hulu. And they just dropped the puck, by the way. Adam Henrique controls and saunters a pass across. Oh, this doesn't look good already. All right, guy. Well, I'll let you go. Thanks for letting me join, and thanks everybody okay. for coming on Guy's show. I will be back probably after the first intermission. If not that, I'll be back after the second intermission. Okay, we'll see you, bud. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Bye. Jeremy Cart, Rusted, and Jason Nichols. Thank you. He draws defenders to him. He drew two St. Louis defenders to him right there. Opened up the point man, but that's what he does. While he draws D man to uh, or defenders to him, he finds the open guy. Oh my goodness, they're going to be slobbing on the. Uh, to me is just so huge. Experience guys. Slobbing on the. Um, Edmonton knob. They're already doing it. Oh, there's a second shot on goal by Edmonton. Third shot on goal by Edmonton. 
Nugent Hopkins, wrist shot. That sails to the high glass. Back time and quickly to it. At the half wall, it's poked behind, and here's Connor McDavid to wrap it around to the waiting Evan Bouchard. Bouchard to McDavid on the move. Connor McDavid has played in 70 games this season. Uh, no, they only gave him credit for two. 60 of the 70 games in which he has played. Oh, here we go, neighbors! Oh, neighbors, you took one, made one extra move. One extra move. You had it. You you, you you waited. You should have gone across the the net instead of to the side of it. Yeah, he should have gone. He he he, he should have gone across the net. He goes across the net. I think that's a goal. Yeah. To the San Jose Sharks on Saturday. The lines for St. Louis, as you would expect, were put into a blender by Drew Bannister. A cloud behind the net sets up shot for Edmonton. Centering pass. Finds Thanks, Sharks. I didn't see that. That's the third group out for St. Louis. But talking to Drew Bannister earlier today, Kelly, as you mentioned, he pulled no punches. He said they were embarrassed by their performance on Saturday. He was embarrassed. And the St. Louis Blues fans deserve better. Yeah, well, you work so hard to get yourself back in that playoff picture, and you have a showing like that. It's one thing to lose to San Jose. Okay, you know, you don't want to lose that game, but in the fashion they do it, I think that's where the frustration comes in. And oh, okay. Thank you. Like that. You could guarantee those lines were going into a blender as you walk in the next morning. You always wonder, who am I going to be playing with today after that? Cody CC keeps it in at the right point. Now you shouldn't. Now you shouldn't hear it. I screwed that up. Yay, me. Hey, Erickson! There you go, bud. My red is kind of a fuck you to some people, so. Besides, to me, red symbolizes St. Louis, and that's the city I'm from and the city I love. Walker got a good little shot in there. Twenty six, seventeen, and three. That's not a bad record. Well, they're they, they're guaranteed a winning season, right? They're they're at five hundred right now. No matter what, if they lose out, so they're guaranteed a winning season, and that's a that's a um, that's a win in my book. You missed it by a point last year. Skinner is uh, 33, 14, and 4 with 262 and a 907. Bennington is 25, 19, and 4 with a 283 and a 912. Come on, guys. Come in.
if the Blues lose this game, the Edmonton Oilers will be uh, guaranteed a playoff spot. Krug picked the pocket and then put it in somebody's skates. Oh, I hope you get beat bad today. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I ended up eighth in my league. I'm actually really proud of myself. Oh, wide open net and didn't pull the trigger. Oh, no. That's three neutral zone turnovers by Edmonton that St. Louis has been able to get. And that right there goes to tell you what I've been talking about. You've got to win the neutral zone. Well, shots are four to three in favor of Edmonton. Oh, there was a bad neutral zone turnover. There you go. That 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 could end up in the back of the net. They haven't cleared it yet, so. And pass. Hand job. Hand job. <laughs> oh, somebody noticed it. I, I went ahead and uh, StreamYard has a little AI and decided to use it. Did you notice I spelled it wrong? Well, actually, I fixed it on YouTube. But it not it was I think it might still have been spelled wrong on the it might still have been spelled wrong. I don't remember. Commercial break. Shots are four apiece. Score is zero apiece. Magongo! Wish I was there. Skirt, skirt.
Hi, this is Guy with the Blue Note Fan Report. What's good? Got anybody laughing out there? Probably not. Ah, uh, wow. Well, the Rocket Richard trophy's sewed up in my eyes. They're letting the fourth line just walk all over them, man. Well, that's the end of that. Fourth line. I told. I said it. They were walking all over them. Kendall and Breakle just standing there. Yeah, it something tipped it. There's the end of that. That didn't take long. 705 mark. It come from Brown and Couric. Oh, here we go. Nice little wrister by neighbors, but an easy save for Skinner. Nobody on the body. Aaron Coulter, Kishaki, Erickson Krieger, Jeremy Cart, Russ Tidland, Jason Nichols, thank you. Oh, I had a, had a guy streaking and just didn't see him.
Oh, Torp. Oh, they put Torp on the second line. I forgot to mention that earlier. Ah, so happy with that. Like, but I don't know my shit about hockey, you know. I've been talking about Torp not getting the play where he should. Talking about Walker not getting the play where he should. And then what happens? At least Torp goes up. Hey, E, how you doing, bud? Ah. <sighs> Nothing. They're being manhandled. Shots are six to five in favor of Edmonton. One to nothing is the score. Blind pass going into somebody else's skates. Ah, they're just not getting any lanes. They're 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 firing it right into. The, they're bl getting so much blocked. How many blocked shots have the, the Blues had so far? Right. Blues have had four shots blocked already. Actually, I think that number's higher. Wow, that was close. Neighbors up and out of play. That's Neighbors two good, solid shots. Come on, Neighbors! Like a good neighbor, Jake finds the back of the net. Ah. Is anybody talking? I guess not. I'm boring. I know that.
Oh, great question. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, they didn't start flat. Yeah, yeah that's right. They didn't. It, 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 they came out in second just frustrated. Something got said or in the locker room or done or, or whatever that just, they, can't, they were frustrated and it showed. Well, still one nothing, six forty to go in the first period. Shots are eight to six. Uh, I think that their season ends tonight. I think they lose. I really do. I, I, I don't think that the, I, I think for Edmonton, there's more, you know, they win tonight. They're in the playoffs, right? That That's that plain and simple. So who has more, you know, the both teams have, have a lot. I, I mean, the blues have more to lose, but the Edmonton has more to gain. Oh, wide open net and completely missed it. Had Skinner out of the net and went over. Hey, Wendy! Welcome, bud. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Wow, that, that should have been 2 nothing. Candela saved a goal.
No icing. And the past is just, they're, they're horrible. That's been something for the last two years. Like nobody on the team has solid vision. Right? Hockey vision, I'd call it. Anybody else see that? Sure, why not? Well, there we go. This game's falling apart very quickly. Oh, no, they caught, they. Oh, no goal. Okay. Waved off immediately. And that's not reviewable either. Oh, yeah, that was. That was. I kind of went away. No go. Bring it back. No go. No go. Oh yeah. That, I I heard. Uh, what was it against Calgary? I guess they got two goals called back. I listened to that game, and one of them they called it a high stick, and it wasn't, and it didn't get reviewed. Um, I listened to it on the radio. Uh, it was, it, it was not very good at all. Uh Oh, Gina found me. I'm in trouble now. My favorite loach, yo, yo, one of my favorite loaches. Da 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 No, no. Loach. Loach. It's a fish. AC. <laughs> well, Lance, if, if you're in my group, Lance kind of got me today. 
Lance got me today. And, and and in some of the things that I put out, I left the N out. So it's Blue Oat Fan Report. Thank you, Gina. I thought that was uh, YOLO. Yeah. You wrote yo yo. You missed the L. <laughs> Come on, boys. You got a break. Make it pay. Oh, Sod, good shot. And they lost it. There, I when I was in the tropical fish, um, I like loaches, and and the 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 loach that a lot of people use is uh, the clown loach, and everybody knows that it's yellow and black. There's another yoach loach called the yo yo, and the markings on it are a Y and an O and a Y and an O. And uh, one that I like is called the Saddleback Loach, and it looks like a um, stingray almost. So I had a, I had a lot of different loaches. They just can't get the pucks through anybody. They can't find a line. I mean, it's like every pass is telegraphed. It's like every pass is telegraphed. Hey, bud. What's up? Hey, how you doing, man? Well, we are losing one to nothing with 228 to go in the first. Uh, it should be two. To, well, it was two to nothing, but a goal was called back. Uh, shots are eight to six in favor of Edmonton. Um, and after the, 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 the Blackhawks impression, the blues did last oh. week or on Saturday. Um, they are under in, in desperation mode. I'm waiting for you to give me shit about that. <laughs> Can you hear me okay, bud? Uh oh, I think Wendy's frozen. Yeah, it just cut out for a second. We yeah. had storms come through today so yeah wi-fi here is a little uh, running a little slow today yeah did you hear did you hear what i what i said about the blues on saturday they uh gave their best blackhawks impression no i didn't yeah they, that saturday was they, the blues decided to give out the best blackhawks impression they got beat four to nothing to the Sharks. Looked like shit. Nobody could score. We never lost Nobody to talking. the Sharks. Yeah, but they've lost to everybody else. The Blackhawks never lost to the Sharks. They haven't. They didn't lose in the, their three games. We've actually had one of the. What? No, we swept the I... Sharks. Oh, okay, well, we didn't. <laughs> I just meant they played shitty. The Hawks actually had a good month of March. What, what, what do you mean by a good month of March? I think they had a losing record. All right, what was their record in March? They had a their best month of hockey all season. They averaged. Well, I mean, the Blues were nine five and one. Uh, four and a half goals a game, and the the Hawks had the best power play in the month of March. They also Man, they're just they're discombobulated this period. They're they're not connecting. The shots are all the passes are in the into the other 
skates. There's just no. Now that's the end of the first. Don Cherry picks whatever stats to make them look good. <laughs> Who did Don Cherry coach? Um, did he coach Toronto or Montreal? Who? Don Who? Cherry. Who did he coach? I know he coached a couple of teams. What was that? Who did Don Cherry coach? Boston. Boston? I thought he coached Don like Cherry one coached of the... Boston. It, yeah. it, was that the only team he coached? I'm pretty sure. And maybe Mark Colorado. Brooks coached the like Islanders, the right? Colorado Rocky. Right. Herb Brooks, did he coach the Islanders? I don't think so. I know he coached somebody. I don't I think don't, so. I said the Islanders. It might, it might have been the rain. No, I don't think it was the Rangers. Yeah, Don Cherry coached the Colorado Rockies and Boston Bruins. Who did the Rockies become? Or did they just uh the Devils? Oh, they became the Devils. Okay. I was I, I honestly wasn't sure. Yeah. Uh Herb Brooks coached the Rangers, I believe. I'm I'm looking it up now. Penguins. Penguins and Devils and the Minnesota North Stars. I was and, a scout for the uh, he also coached the Penguins. Say again. The teams again, uh, Herb Brooks was head coach of were the teams that Herb Brooks coached were the New York Rangers, Rangers Minnesota North, North Stars, Stars for one season, the right. Devils for one season, one season, and then Pittsburgh for a couple. I don't think he won a won a cup though, did he? I don't think so. Yeah, he didn't want. I don't think he won a. I don't think he won a cup. Well, um, period is what the period is. Uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, game is what it is. I'm just here talking the best I can. Uh, we don't have a, a intermission show because it's on e on Hulu tonight. And then I know you got a storm going through uh, St. Mm -hmm. Louis, so that's making it even harder. And there's only six people watching me anyway, so it is what it is. It's not that bad now. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe the season's almost over. Yeah. What, two weeks left? Something like that. Right? Uh, how many games does um, Chicago have what? Three weeks? Three weeks? I, I know it's close. You have seven? We we have nine, including... Yeah, there's three, three weeks, weeks left. Mm-hmm. I will be at at least three of the final seven games for the Blackhawks this year. Don't know if I'm going on the to the game on the tenth yet. Yeah, waiting for St. Louis to be eliminated official to get tickets because then Blues fans will off their tickets for cheap. Oh, for the Chicago. We play Chicago one more time, right? On the tenth, okay. I'm. That will mean I will be going to a total of four games. This actually five total games in this, and like the a full three week span because I went to last night's Michigan versus Michigan State uh, regional final over in Centene. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to see the Hawks play the Stars and Wild this coming weekend. If I could, I'm waiting to see on what's going on with St. Louis to buy tickets to next Wednesday on the 10th. But I am going to the Blackhawks final home game on the 14th. All right. Uh, the Blackhawks season ended several weeks ago. I think they know that. <laughs> but we've actually been playing competitive hockey since. What happened last year, once we got eliminated, the Hawks played some good hockey, and what happened? Yeah, you eliminated Pittsburgh. Over- you yep, Pittsburgh and we ended right? up with the first overall pick. Good things happen to teams who actually perform well down the stretch. I I I I just can't see you guys getting the number one overall pick again. I just can't. Not in back to back years. I, all about lottery balls. Right. They need to do the lottery live again like they did in twenty. Please they never the did it live. live. I are I verified it. They never did it live. Are you a hundred percent sure about that? Yes, I verified it. Okay. Hold on. They did what uh they've done every year by showing the cards in the twenty twenty draft. Okay. The only on. part they showed live was the um, teams that were eliminated from the qualifier and put okay, into the lottery on. machine. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to disprove that. I already proved it the other night, actually. Here it is. I'm, I'm going to show you it right now. That's not it. They showed that after the draft lottery shown on TV. No, this is, this is what they yes. showed. That's what they do. I remember watching it. 30 p.m. Uh, this evening, we oh, are conducting the first phase you don't of want the to get 2020 calm. NHL oh, draft right, lottery you? to determine. I, I didn't hear you, Wendy. Wendy, I didn't hear you. Hello? Oh, I might be frozen. Right? This was now. Maybe they did show this after they showed the cards, but I don't remember that. I remember them. Sh- I remember You're this, on. so I didn't. S- this is the only time that they've actually shown the balls being pulled and then the names coming up. And then they did do it for the 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 teams that missed. No, it's not. They did do it for that because here's the link. I sent. Nope. I was right? I just sent you a link on Twitter. Okay. So did they show this and then show that after? Wendy. So I remember watching that draft, watching them pull the balls. Did they show that after they they pulled them all up? Yes, they showed that after they pulled them all up because there's the broadcast from the actual showing of it. This is the first, but that's the first time I think they've ever shown the actual ball pull. This is the ball pull. Nope, they've always that. do. They always. Because no. I looked online. The only ball pull I could find they is this that. one. And then the Ranger one. When the Rangers got the first pick. They always That's show the, the ball, ball pull. That's the only ball pull that I've ever won. No, they always show. The only time they show the ball pulling is after they show the cards getting flipped. Okay. They show their proof of how they do the lottery polling after the cards are flipped to show who got the draft the first overall pick because they have to do it that way for broadcasting purposes 
Oh. They always post the um, lottery machine part on their YouTube channel, online, anywhere, showing how the lottery process goes down. Yeah. After did they the do that lottery. for last year? Because I couldn't find it. I looked for last year yes, and couldn't they find did. it. They did it last year. Okay. Maybe I'm a complete fucking idiot. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not throwing that out at you. I'm throwing that out at me. So don't take it the wrong way, bud. But the Ranger one, the Ranger one is the one that I, I question. Right? Because of the dropping of the ball. That that there made me wonder if that I know they're ping pong balls, but it still had to affect the ball. Right? Do you get what I'm saying? I see where you're what you're saying, but the the other issue is I and I don't know if they realize this, but when you put the when you when they put the logos on the ball some balls were heavier than others. Now, the, the amount of, of weight was, was minute, but when you're talking about all of them having different weights, it doesn't take much, right? I mean, if you put two weights on a scale, one is one one-thousandth of a gram and the other one's one one-hundredth of a gram, which is minute, the one that's a hundredth of a gram is going to drop to the bottom, even though the weight is minute. You, you, you get what I'm saying? I see where you're coming from. I just think it just was a slip of the hand by actual, really oh, what well, happened. It, it might have been, and I'll agree with you, that it was more than likely possibly a slip of the hand. But at the same time, Maybe they should have, you know, redone the balls. I don't know. You know, they do use an actual, like, legit lottery person who works for a legit yes. lottery company yes. to do it. Yes. And I don't know, but I think, well, first of all, most companies they don't handle the balls. They don't. They, they, the balls are in. They don't put any hands on those balls, right? They never touch yeah. the balls, right? Or at least you don't see them. They're touch always the briefed case until they. Yeah. Yeah. So, because of that, the fact that they actually handled the balls that was a difference, and that's why, I don't know. It, it just it, it gave an it gave the appearance of an impropriety in my eyes. Right? That's all it was. It gave a... Uh... They're, they're showing McDavid and... and uh... The girl that works for... Well, she used to work for the Kings as a scout. Well, I managed to get a good video from last night's uh, mission. Wh who'd you manage to get? How did you get tickets to that? Weren't they like a Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, no, tickets for last night's game between Michigan and Michigan State in the, um, the regional final. Were, yeah. I got them for 60 bucks. Oh, wow. I thought you were saying that they were going for like a grand. I actually have the video on my YouTube. No, the game between Michigan and North Dakota the other yeah. night on Friday were going for a grand. Yeah. Wow. I actually, was, if what you was the go game that, towards my YouTube channel. What was the, wasn't the, the, the game before it, that before the Michigan one, the one that, uh, the team was uh, Michigan State was up four to two, I think it was, or Western Michigan was up four to two on Michigan State, and Michigan State came back and tied yeah. it. Did they end up winning yep. that one in and overtime? Michigan State won it in double overtime. Yeah, the Enterprise Center has the Frozen Four next year. Yeah. All right. 
They, I mean, they had it a couple of years. They had it like five or six years. I remember they've having it before. The last time they had the Frozen Four in St. Louis was 2006. Oh, that long ago? Okay. Yeah. I didn't think it was that long ago. I knew I knew they've had it. They've had it before. I'm shocked that they've never had it. Uh, they haven't had it up in Chicago. I don't know why. I don't know why they wouldn't have it, it up there. It would make sense to do one in Chicago eventually. Yeah. I, I agree. I think it yeah, would. Yeah, if you go over to my YouTube channel, you can actually see the video I posted. <laughs> What some did Fintelli score? Or... No, one of the Blackhawks' top prospects got a highlight reel uh, play done on it. Oh, the goalie? Your goalie? No, a forward. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I know he's pitching me pretty up. bad today. I could probably pull it up on here. Uh, man, I just want this game to restart. <laughs> I got nothing to talk about. Uh, the weather breaking up out there? Oh, yeah, it, it's all fine. I miss a good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned Midwestern thunderstorm. I've, I've seen lightning hit a tree one time and the tree exploded. Basically, it, it hit it. It was an oak tree, big old oak tree. And it hit it kind of, you know how oak trees split from the yeah. top, you know, the, the trunk kind of splits off. It hit right at the trunk or right at the split. And I guess it went straight mm -hmm. down the trunk because it almost like imploded on itself and then just ex imploded, exploded on itself. Okay. I, I pro just posted I probably, a link on here. I was probably 150 yards away. Just posted the link to that video yeah. on that I ended up getting from the game yesterday. I was sitting three rows from the glass. Oh, wow. That's uh, good seats. Yeah. That's really good seats. Oh, game's back on. Puck drop. Nope. So Michigan just scored, and then what happens here, Michigan just scored, and right after the face-off, after that uh, goal to give them the lead. Is this the video you were talking about, bud? Massive play happens. Huh? I didn't hear you, bud. So, Michigan just took the lead, and yeah. all of 12 seconds, they add to their lead off this play. Okay, well, we'll watch it uh, after the period. See if the Blues can actually do something in the second here. Well, the big four haven't really done much this game. I had someone try and offer me Perry for trade for next season, and I said, no, thank you. 
I, the reason he's he's got four guys, he's got four guys on uh, IR, so he's trying to trade guys away so he doesn't lose the guys on IR. Just give them away for nothing, you know. Just have to release them, and he thinks I'm yeah. too stupid to realize that. There's one thing that my league doesn't do that I'm going to recommend or see if see if we can do it. I've been in leagues before, like eight team leagues. When you get to the playoffs, you have your top four teams that you know go through the playoffs. Yeah. But they take the bottom four and you play for out for position. Right. Okay. I think that my league, and this is here, this is a way to get rid of uh uh tanking in my league is play it play the bottom out, play it out. Don't you know keep playing it out all the way through for position and then no lottery. That's what your position is. Right? I'm so upset I could not see McDavid in person this year. I was going to go to a Blackhawks Oiler game. Yeah. Back in January. Had to give up the tickets because a blizzard rolled through Chicago and I couldn't make it up there. Yeah. I should have gone to the It was like game. negative. What? No, I, I want to see game. it in Chicago. I want to see McDavid in Chicago. So I'm going next year. You want to see him against Bedard? Yes. Or And also maybe against a Mr. Macklin Celebrini if we win the first overall pick. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, bud. I mean, dream. I just don't think it's going to happen. I say if. I don't say when. I say if. I'm not being I already said if we're at second overall or third overall I'm okay with that yeah. this year was not supposed to be a tank year for the Blackhawks yeah it turned into one when all the injuries occurred yeah oh man we Blues just can't score man it's like they, they, they got a fistful of $100 bills and a $2 whorehouse and no one wants them They might be. <laughs> What's your? That's I wouldn't one of the go that Warriors way gold. because if we won the first overall pick, go ahead. I will say this: if the Hawks won the first overall pick, we can't win it for another five years. Which yeah. by then the rebuild will be over. Frankly, the rebuild's getting to a point where we're going to start seeing a bunch of young players come in that are going to be the key core to the Blackhawks. We already have a few of the roster players for the core of the Blackhawks right now on the team, and Connor Bedard, Alex Vlasic, and Kevin Korchinski. Um, next year, the Hawks are supposed to... Uh, should have Frank Nazer come and signing his ELC out of uh, Michigan. Mm -hmm. They also have prospects like uh, Oliver Moore currently playing for Minnesota in um, the NCAA. They just got eliminated. I don't think Moore plays in the NHL next season, but I could see him signing that ELC after uh, Minnesota's done for the season yeah. and comes to the Blackhawks that way. Yeah, Snugger. And if out. they get, the, we yeah, also have a lot. A lot of Blues fans are thinking that Snugger. What's that? Snugger. Uh, is going to Snugger. Uh, yes, forgo his junior year and go to the NHL. If they, if he does. I, I don't think the Blues should let him play. I think they should send him to the minors and save that year. Save you can't. That year. It's not worth it burning it now. Once you sign a player to their ELC, and once you here's the rule in, uh, from signing from a, a college athlete to their ELC, yeah. they their contract automatically starts burning once you sign them. 
So no, no. For instance, one game. If I the just... Blackhawks, if one no, game. If I will say this, Crank Nazer, if he signed his ELC with the if he if Michigan were to have lost last night. Yeah. Frank Nazer signs at ELC with the Blackhawks. His contract's burnt. So I'm happy Michigan won because the Blackhawks are not going to have to pay Nazer, Bedard, and Korchinski all in the same year. Well, I, I mean, I just read an article in this with Snugard. If he signs and and goes to the minors, his ELC doesn't start until next season. Maybe it's unless he plays contract. a game, unless he plays a game this season. So apparently, you don't get the nine games unless he plays a game this season. It goes to next season. If he plays in one game this season, then it's burned. How old is he? Uh twenty, I think. What is his age? Too. He's twenty. Okay, so he's not at that twenty-one range, um, but he. He would have to sign a um amateur uh tryout with uh your yeah no he'll yeah, have to sign an amateur contract to play with to play in the AHL. Okay. Yeah, it was a nice save, Aaron. I agree with you, bud. Yeah, yeah, that was a, a hell of a save by Bennington. All right, shots are eleven apiece. Score still one to nothing. Oh, got an on man rush, three on two, and it gets beaten down. God, the Blues passes are. Hard. Who's your pick right now, Dick? He froze. You asked who my pick, and then you froze. Who's your pick to what? If the season was over today, who was who's your pick to win the Stanley Cup? Um, I'm I'm like in Dallas. I'm like in Dallas. Dallas goaltending situation is probably the best in the Dallas league. Dallas is a solid one. I think it's going to come down to goaltending. Definitely the uh, one of the better ones in the. Uh, I don't I, think so. I, I like Dallas. I like it Dallas in the, the last couple of years. Uh, uh, for me, it's Dallas in the Rangers right now because they have the two best goaltending situations. Oh damn it! Ooh, nice, nice job, Nuge. I like how Florida's built for the playoffs. I they, they are the built really well, but my question roster. with them is going to be goaltending. Oh, wow. Yeah, he hit that. I wow. trust their goaltending. That was a oh, smart Bennington opened his go legs. to the net by Nuge. Yeah, Bennington opened his legs. You might get a challenge out of that because he hit him on the first shot. For what? No, they're not going to challenge it. Yeah, they are looking at it. I, I would, too. Yeah, they're going to challenge it. I thought so. Because he hits him. He hits him on that first shot. Bennington doesn't have a chance to reset. I think they're going to win this. Now, here's my problem with this. If they challenge it for goaltender interference, and it is goaltender interference, that should be a penalty. Goaltender interference is a penalty. If you're challenging for goal, a goal for goaltender interference, then it should be a penalty. And it's no different than this new thing that they're talking about, right? Where, um, you know, oh, for a stick over the glass, you can challenge that. But if you're wrong, oh, yeah, he hits him. He pulls his legs apart. I, I see it now. That's going to get challenged. Yeah, that's going to be. He absolutely pulls his legs apart. Favorite yeah, that's songs. coming back. Huh? I'm replying to the favor for Calder. Yeah. Not happening. Not happening. 
I can't wait to finally see the Faber versus Bedard matchup next Sunday. Uh, this is coming off the board. Uh, to me, it, it's got to come off. And I saw that right away. I even said it before they talked about it. I said, I think that they're going to challenge this. Right? But you know this new thing about, you know, you challenge if it's if it's a, a high stick or whatever. And if you're wrong, it's a five on three. Well, in my case, if 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 this is challenged for goaltender interference and it's goaltender interference, you should go on the power play. I would be inclined to seeing something like that. Because that's what goaltender interference is. If you're calling yeah. goaltender interference, which is a penalty, you should go I'm, on the power play. I, I'm aware. Right? I don't think so. All he's good for is uh, being a plus one a night, and that's about it. And an in his assists. That's it. He doesn't. He doesn't score the goals. He doesn't really block shots either. I do yeah, look into that for. A I don't know why man. they're taking him so long. It's, it's it's obvious he pulls the pads apart. If he pulls the pads apart, that's it. Right. I I would not be surprised next Sunday Brock Faber gets booed at the United Center every time he touches the puck. Yeah, he probably will. Just because the Blackhawk fans and Wild fans right now have it going at each other's throats about yeah. Bedard versus Faber. Yeah. So <laughs> it would not surprise me. Here we go. I, I, I think that they're going to no goal this. Yeah interference no goal penalty on Edmonton St. Louis goes on a power play that's what it should be that's what it should be right when are they going to start calling goaltender interference for what it is it is a penalty goaltender interference is not oh we we we, we saved you yeah he absolutely pulls Bennington's legs apart actually now maybe he doesn't but Bennington needs a chance to reset um, it, it should be, if you're going to call goaltender interference, it should, here's the thing, because if you're wrong, they get a power play. Well, if you're right, you should get a power play. Mm -hmm. That That's my thing. You get to delay a game penalty, which really you didn't delay the game. Right. In my eyes, but they did commit a penalty by, and I don't know why that isn't brought up, you know? Why yeah. that? Because that, I, I mean, that's really what it should be. Right? I mean, the, 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 the biggest problem is, first of all, with goaltender, it's, it's not defined, so you really never know. The second problem is, the, you, if you started giving penalties for goaltender interference like you're supposed to, guess what's going to go away? Goaltender interference, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 it's you you double penalize the team that gets the goal scored on, but you don't penalize yeah. a team. You take a goal away, but that's all you do. Take a goal away. You need to double penalize them as much, right? That that's the way I think about it. You you're. They're double penalizing the team that got scored on, but you're not double penalizing the team that scored the goal. Yeah. If I get a goal scored on me and I challenge it and I'm wrong, I go on the penalty kill. I give them a power play. Flip it. They score a goal. I challenge it. It's goaltender interference. You take the goal away. That's all you did. You didn't do anything else. Mm -hmm. I get double penalized if I'm wrong. Why don't they get double penalized if I'm right? Yeah. Tell, I tell you what, you start doing that, that, that they wanted to cut down on 
the goaltender interference, um, what do you call it? Goaltender interference, uh, oh, uh, penalties, right? Or reviews. They wanted to cut down on them. Yeah. The way you cut down on them is give the team that got, oh, you know, if you win it, here's the a penalty. Crap. Oh, something's going on. Evander Kane versus Tucker. Oh, t- Tucker got beat. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Way to go, Tucker. Took Kane off. See if it's just going to be a five or they're going to screw the Blues over. There's been no penalties called this game. No penalties yet. Hmm. Oh, he hit him. Tucker hit him, and then he just went after him. He dropped the gloves as soon as he hit him. Tucker might get a, a, a two for this. I hope not, but he could. No, it's just two five for fighting. No, Kane got it. Kane got two, and Hyman got two. Interesting. Hein might, uh, Hyman might be serving a penalty. Now, yeah, Blues he's a serving a two-minute minor. Now there's two guys in the box. So are we going five on three? No, it's a five on four power play. Uh, Hyman serving a two-minute minor from Kane for the instigator. For, Kane, for the okay. For what delay game? The instigator. Instigator. Oh, that surprises me. <laughs> Come on. Tie this thing up. Tie this thing up. Oh, Cairo, right open that. Why did you do, do that? Ah. Uh... Yeah, okay. Kane, uh, Kane and Tucker, five minute majors, and then. Uh, Kane got a two-minute minor. They're not saying what it's for. Instigator. Instigating? Yeah. Got a couple good shots on the power play so far. Edmonton, man, they're just so active on the penalty kill. I, 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 usually when a team's that active, they're not good, but they are They are just so good at it. They're so good on the power play and the penalty kill. Just special teams. Oh, removing opponent's helmet. He got, he got the uh, roughing for removing opponent's helmet. That's a rare one. It's usually an instigator. Yeah, no, I didn't think that would be an instigator because if you were going to give an instigator, it would have been on Tucker. But he grabbed Tucker's helmet. He took his helmet off and then started the fight. Okay. Hey, you got to come up on that. You can't stand back there like that. Ah, that should have been a one-timer, Shin. You waited for it. You one time it, it doesn't hop over your stick. There we go. There we go. What did I just say? What did I just say? As stupid as everybody tells me, and as much as they say I don't know anything, I just talked about a one-timer, and how do they score? A Mm one-timer. No, I didn't see that. Right? What did I just say? Wendy, I just said it. Yeah, I know. You know? I don't know. Tor Pachinko might have tipped that. Oh, Falcon Hayes. I've talked about the Blues needing a one-timer for a while, and now Tucker's happy. All right. Mm 
Mm -hmm. They're challenging it. For what? I didn't see anything that could be goaltender interference. Did you? Um, look at know. where Torp is. No, no. Look at this. No. Torp didn't touch him. Oh, there's no goaltender. There's nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing. Other than the stick hitting the pad, but. They're playing let it be. <laughs> I, I, I can't see this being goaltender interference. I can't. Did the stick lock up the pad? No, it bare. Uh, if it touched the pad, I don't see. That's what Skinner's pointing like. Yeah, pointing at his pad that his stick hit the pad, but. All right, there, there's I, I'm sorry, I don't see enough. And, and and even if this was reversed, if this was like them calling on the blues, I would have said that. I don't mm -hmm. see enough there. Do you, Wendy? I don't no, I don't think so. But on the other one, I saw enough. I saw enough where he reset that you know, Bennington had to reset yeah. because of being pushed out. Skinner didn't have to do anything. You, you cannot. No. You give this. I, I'm calling bullshit if they give it back. Back on the power play. Back on the power play. Back on the power play. Hey, Anthony. Back on the power. Yeah, I didn't see anything to why you would yeah, challenge him. I, I said I don't know. I really couldn't tell what would have been challenge worthy because I said, did the, the stick maybe cause something? I I really don't think, didn't think so. He's, he's got a stick there trying to deflect, but you can't call that. Yeah. Right back to the power play. And Edmonton lost their challenge for that too. Yeah. Well, can you only challenge? I thought when you, with, I thought you didn't lose your time out. since I thought they changed with no, the, you can... since you now go on the power or penalty kill. That you still keep your timeout. No, you lose your timeout. Uh, I thought you keep it. Nope. Because you can challenge. You lose as long the as time you out. go on the penalty kill, you can challenge as many times. Nope. You still go lose your timeout. You lose your challenge. That's how it goes. If you successfully challenge, mm -hmm. you keep your challenge and your timeout. I don't know. I thought they changed that. I could be wrong. Nope. Oh, what a save Never by Bennington. That. Edmonton's a sneaky team to get a shorthanded goal. They do have a good amount this year, if I remember so correctly. Do, so do the Blues. They just haven't had one in a long time. Goal was good. Scores 1-1. One, one. Uh, shots are 8-4 to four in favor of the Blues this period. 14-13 to 13 for the game. Whew. One time. That's the, 
that's the thing. You know, I've been asked what what if, if you were you know what one thing would you try and fix on this team? One time shot. They don't have a good one time shot. I would look for a one time shot. There's not and really aren't any on the market this year. All right. Oh, five on three. Tripping. Right title headed. Right title for tripping. Wow, this could change the game. Uh yeah, I think it would have been too. Here we go. Five on three for a minute and eleven. Penalty you gotta score on this. Full. Yeah, you have to score on this. That's a whole line. That is an actual line on the Oilers that's all in that box. Yeah. Heidman, uh, Dry Style, and Kane, they all play on one line. Wow. <laughs> they do at points. I don't know if they were playing it on that line tonight. Oh, loose rebound. Kairu is right now just, uh, what do you call it? Uh, snake bit. Two empty nets and the puck has bounced on Kairu twice. That's snake bit. Five on three. You got to score here. If you 35 don't, 35 seconds. Lose. Get it set up. Get it set up. Good one timer. Oh, Bennington, get out, get to that puck and fire it up. Oh, he was too late. Falk is worn out. Who's your pick to win the Hart Trophy this year? Um, probably going to be, uh, McKinnon. Yeah, I would go with McKinnon so, as well. So that's not who I would pick. My pick really? would go somewhere completely different. Like who? Think about it. Who, 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 who do you think should be in the heart talk? That's not the three players are that are in the talk is McKinnon, McDavid and Kucherov. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking Matthews? Yep. Yep. I, I I think Matthews. I wouldn't put Matthews on it. I know he could have 65 goals this year, but um, McKinnon's done it all season where he's just been he's, I think, had maybe uh -oh. two games. Short-handed breakaway. Ooh. Oh, what a save. What a save, Bennington. Wow. That wasn't shorthanded, by the way. The both penalties were killed. Oh, okay. I thought it was still shorty. Dry style came right out of the box. Okay. You got me on that one then. Wow. Yeah, Bennington did wait him out. Went as far as he could. Thing, make him make the move. That's that's when it comes down to. I agree, Aaron. I agree. No, for me, Matthews, the 60 goals. Uh, is it 61 or 60 right now? 60. 60 goal. I mean, that wins games. Right? It hasn't, though, at points. He's how close is to is he to a hundred points? He's got to be right there. I don't think he is. Hold on, let's see. Oh, pull it up. Hang on. I don't know where my NHL thing is. I, I had stuff up earlier. I've got I've got way too many freaking things up right now.
He has 95 points. Yeah. So he's going to end up with 60 goals. Or he's got what? 60 goals. He'll probably end up 65. Yeah. Right? That's what I think. Somewhere in 60 to 65 range. Um, he's eight goals clear of the next guy. And he probably will stay at that number. Right? You go to points, and he's what? Eighth. Eighth in points. He will probably get 100. I, I, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind he gets 100. You know? And, and you look at these guys, McKinnon, Kucherov, and, and, and McDavid, all of their points are, are assists. They're not goals. McKinnon right? has 47 goals. 47 goals. So that's less than half of his points. That's a third of his points are goals. McKinnon more has 100 and more than half of 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 Matthews points are goals. That is less than half the of McKinnon's points. McKinnon has 47 goals, 80 assists for that's right. 127 so, so points. less than half of McKinnon's points are from goals. More than half of Matthew's points are from goals. 60 of his 95 points are from goals. McKinnon has the most primary assist in the NHL this year. Not secondary, primary. How many of his 80 assists are primaries? Let me pull it up. Yeah. I don't. I didn't even know if that was a stat that you could look that stat up. It's hard to pull it up, but I did see that the other day uh, that he did have more primary assists than secondary. Yeah. No. Blues needed to score in that five and three and didn't. But you're you're letting this team hang in, and they're too good. Oh, McDavid just got uh, puck picked. Or no, it was a 97 Hopkins, right? No, 97 is McDavid, right? When he started out super cold and injured. Say again. Okay. Uh, McKinnon's primary assist. Okay. He is split. It's a 50 50 split. Okay. Oh, the guy. So McKinnon has 40 primary assists, 40 secondary assists. Okay. All right. I, I don't know. Mc, to me, McDavid I, I that Matthews, Matthews with the goals. McDavid has 35 is, primary assists. Right. Who has 35 primary? Who did you uh, say? McDavid. McDavid? McKinnon has 40. 40. How many does Kucherov got? Yeah. How many does Kucherov have? Uh, 35. 35. So 35. McDavid, Kucherov, the majority of their points, are, are a larger number of their points are coming from secondary assists, where the majority of... uh. The majority of, um, God, I can't speak now. Matthews are coming from goals. To me, that means more. Right? Matthews has 60 goals and he has a total of 35 assists. 
you're, you're talking about a guy who's gotten the majority of his points from goals. I, I will put that more value on that than I will on the 120 points with 40 goals. Okay. Now, I you could have, have found points the stat 80. wrong, but I'm going to say this. I might have found all the stats wrong, but I do believe how I read it off, it looked like how I was reading it looked proper. Okay. And that way, I wanted to no, clarify. I mean, okay, but just what I'm getting at is, you know, to me, the fact that 60 – of his 95 points, so better than 50% of his points come from goals, that's what an MVP is to me. And I don't know how many game-winning goals. I haven't broken that down, how many game-winning goals he has or any of the, you know, what the goals are. But actually, I think he's got I can find out how many game-winning goals. What? Yeah. You I can, can look, look that up, up how many game-winning goals. You probably look up how many... Uh, hat tricks he's had this year too he's had like four or five of them right I think he's had more hat tricks this year than a lot of teams have had hat tricks I just know he can't score a goal against the Blackhawks I don't know if he scored one against the Blues He might have. I don't remember. Okay, game-winning goals leaders this year. David Posternock yeah. with 13. Okay. McDavid and Dreisaitl with 11. Okay. Um, Shifley with 10. Yeah. Matthews is not even. Oh, Bennington just took a tripping penalty. Yeah, Bennington just took oh. a tripping penalty. I don't even see I Matthews think it was on Bennington. the list right now. Oh. Yeah. No, 30. You said 30, right? 32. Okay. Matthews is um, tied for 15th in the league for game-winning goals. How many? He has eight. Eight, okay. How many hat tricks? Um, wait, that, my bad. It pulled up this. Last season, hang. On. I have to rewrite it. It it right. had a typo. Yeah, so, no problem. Uh, here's the updated. Okay, actually, I fixed it. I put in the wrong year for the stat to okay. look it up. So okay. Matthews is currently one. Two, Ninth in the NHL for game-winning goals with eight. McKinnon is uh, tied for second with uh, Aho, Ky uh, Kyle Connor, and JT Miller with nine game-winning goals. Most game-winning goals is by Braden Point with 11. Okay. Oh, man, I'm trying to look something up. Actually, uh, Matthew's got two goals tonight, so he has 62 for 98 points. Matthew's has right. six hat tricks. Um, here's the list of hat tricks scored. Matthew's with six. Yeah. Hyman with four. Kaprizov with three, Panarin with three, Braden Point with three, Marcheso with three, and there's a few other guys that have like two. I wonder how many teams have less than six hat tricks. Hold 
less than six. I mean, the Blackhawks have two. I know that. Kale McCarr scored a hat trick this year. I did not know that. So Bennington got the tripping. I, I thought it was Bennington. I, I saw that. Yeah, he said the number. He said the number wrong. McKinnon has two hat tricks this year. Yeah. Oh! Oh, they missed a shorthanded empty net. Shorthanded. Oh, my goodness. That was bad. The Blues had it. Oh, this could have been a two-to-one game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that was the game right there. The Blues would have put this, would have absolutely took all the energy out of uh, Edmonton. Oh, here's a stat. Yeah. Most goals in one game scored this year. In what? One goal games? Most goals by one player in one game this year. Five, I think. Nope. Either four or five. It's four. Uh, yeah. Several players did that. Yeah. Um, Tage Thompson... Nathan McKinnon did it twice. Yeah. Steven Stamkos. Yeah. Uh, Brock Besser. Matthews and then, did it once, didn't he? What? Matthews did it once, didn't he? Nope. Never had a four-goal game this year. Okay. Full strength. They killed it. Killed it. Oh, Walker just missed. I want to see Walker. See, Walker's just playing with neighbors. That's really good. I want to see Walker. Bull Duke's not playing today, but I'd love to see that. Good, solid game for the Blues tonight. Even you got to admit that there, Wendy. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. 150 to go. I just pulled up the rookie point leaders. <laughs> Connor Bedard in 60 games played, 57 Do you kind of see my point, though, with Matthews? Do you, do you I see, see where you're coming from. I can see where you're coming from. He's going to come in fourth in the voting, I would feel like, what happens with Matthews. I, I could see that, but it would be he would be my number one. If I had a vote, Matthews would be my number one. My pick would be Nathan McKinnon just because of the run he's gone on this year, especially that team being so injured. At a, the Avalanche have dealt with a ton of injuries this year. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to go four on four hockey. And I believe this might be one of McKinnon's healthiest seasons. Oh, yeah, he absolutely cross-checked him. I do believe this is McKinnon's healthiest season he's had in a long time. Well, he had four, what did he have? He had like he had forty something goals last year too, didn't he? I said he think he. I said they said earlier he set his career high in goals last year. I know he had a. Uh, big, oh, I'm pulling up his stats. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, he had 40, uh, 42 goals last season. Yeah. And how many has he got this year? 47. So he's, oh, is that, I don't know if that's his career high or not, but. It is his career high this year. 
I, I would go Matthews, uh, McKinnon, Kucherov, McDavid. Okay. Right? And again, it comes down to, oh, now there, where's your, ah, oh, there it is. We're going on the power play. We're going on a four on three. Don't lose this. Don't lose this puck. Get it to go through the period. You got 50 seconds. Get it to go through. Ah, uh, Thomas, you can't lose. See, this is where I think that the team should have the uh, option to let, to take the penalty at the uh, – Let's say that you give them the option under a minute, you get the option to go to the, to, for the penalty to carry. However, if the other team scores or you score, the penalty goes away. Yeah. I'm glad I don't have to worry about watching the Blackhawks game on TV next Saturday because I was not looking forward to watching a animated version of the broadcast. For who? The Blackhawks. Why would it be animated? Uh, they're doing an animated broadcast. They're going to make it a cartoon? Yeah. You're shitting me. I am not. On who? What? What network? NBC Sports Chicago. Why the fuck would they do that? It's going to be the first regional, like regional network, uh, sports broadcast ever to be a uh, animated ver have an animated simulcast with the actual game. They've done the animated broadcasts before in the NHL with on ESPN. It's like that, Chris, but it's not under that big city green game, whatever the bullshit crap is. Uh, for me, I, I, I have a hard time giving Nick David the heart because he just, he does the same thing every year. It's not like he does anything special, right? <laughs> It's become, Doesn't you know, do anything special, it, but it's, he's done it year after year because he's the best player in the freaking world. And, and again, you know, look at his goals. What are his goals? He, I don't even think he's in the forties. Is he, he has 27 goals, 27 goals. And you said that his um, primary assists were, were, were the majority of his points are secondary assists. You do do you realize that at one point this season McDavid was um 30 points behind McKinnon and Kucherov No, I didn't realize that. Mm. Ah man, I know it, it's I day. think it was actually a even higher point per like points for McKinnon and Kucherov to start this season. Um, McDavid started out super cold under um, their yeah, previous coach. I think he, uh, injury was a main factor okay. to that, but ever since uh, uh, they changed head coaches, McDavid's been one of the hottest players in the league. Well, it's just the same. You know, you, you go back and you look at Gretzky. Gretzky put up the same numbers year after year, but he didn't win the heart trigger every year. There were he years the where people did other seven things. Seven years in a row. I, I know um, Hall won it one year. The year Hall had 86 goals. Wayne Gretzky, I believe, won the heart trophy seven years in a row. I don't think it was that many. It could be, but I may be wrong. I got to get, get, I'll be right back, Wendy. Okay. You You can run the show for a few minutes. All right, I guess this is my show now. <laughs> Point watching is an interesting thing to do, especially at this time of year. Um, 
It's the games in commercial. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> So guys, uh, just to give you a heads up, if you're looking for like a small hockey clip I took last night, I did post that on my YouTube channel. It's actually of a insane highlight reel uh, assist. But the game is back on for St. Louis and Edmonton. Um, Bennington just made a stop of the puck for a few seconds there, so. McDavid heads off the ice, line change with 7 17 left on the board in the second period of play. Looks like the Corey Perry line is out for the Oilers. Couldn't tell who was out for St. Louis quite yet. Uh, Kyrou's out there, so. Um, I always liked Tory Krug when he was in Boston, so I would say Tory Krug probably. The Hawks are in a rebuild, but they've been playing a lot better this after this this past month. Um, and I feel like in the next after this season, it's not tank. This year it turned into a tank year, even though. We all said at the beginning of the year, it's not going to be a true tank year because we're just letting the players ride. Then the injuries um, just rattled the team. It got to the point it turned into a tank season. Um, next year is a year where the Hawks are should be a better team. Probably not last place in the division. So flourishing with that bottom team in the division but by year and two years i expect the hawks to compete for a wild card in the nhl the hawks have a team where their young players are starting to get into the nhl next year and the year following so the direction is by um the 25 26 season, the Hawks compete for a wild card. Okay, sorry about that, bud. That's all good. Uh, what's your favorite blues player? Not Letty or Sad. Uh, those don't even come. My favorite's Cairo. I like Cairo. In fact, I love the fact that he still doing what he's doing amid all the negativity that thrown his way. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that I want to add and said, Corey Krug. I... Say oh, again. Go ahead. No, you go. Yeah. Right. I went ahead and right with, with Tory Krug just because I've always liked him when he was with Boston. Okay, we'll try this again. Go ahead, Wendy. What were you saying, bud? All right. Yeah, I picked Tory yeah, Krug you just because I liked him with Boston. I picked Tory Krug just because I always liked him in Boston. Yeah. I, I like Krug. I do. I, I just think that, first of all, too many people thought that who, what Krug was coming to do was to replace Petrangelo. And that really wasn't what he was coming to do. Right? He was not a... Mm -hmm. He was not, in, in and of, of itself, a Petrangelo replacement. Right? Petrangelo left as a defenseman. He came in as a defenseman. But he's not the same player. And when you expect him to yeah. be like Petrangelo was, he wasn't. And, and he was used wrong for a long time. It took it took a while, so I see yeah. that in my eyes, right? Um, I like out of the box players. I like players that um, get through adversity and, and, and thrive through it, and, and and that's the kind of players that I kind of gravitate towards. So that's why for me, it's it's it's, it's I do like Krug, but I for a favorite player right now, I think it's Kyrou. 
mm -hmm. right? When do I think the Chicago St. Louis rivalry gets back and going next year at the winter classic? Mm. Um, I don't know if you'll have enough fire. Oh, I either. think, I think we'll have enough because apparently the, I feel like what happens this off season is going to be a uh, off season. The Hawks are going to get more players to help and make this team more competitive. They aren't going to be a first place team next year. They aren't going to be a wild card contender next year. They're still going to be in that rebuild phase, but yeah. it's going to be a very tough and competitive team next year. What do you think Hall brings? Hall will bring to the Blackhawks That's next a year. Good question because we only saw him for what was it, ten games this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he didn't if, play much. If he's healthy, I could see Taylor Hall having a little bit of a bounce back season with the Blackhawks because we already are seeing it. We saw it with Nick Felino, who's had his most goals since he was a Blue Jacket six years ago. Yeah. Um. Hall played 10 games, had four points, two goals, two assists, minus three, four penalty minutes, 30 shots on goal, had a game-winning goal, and a power play goal. All right? I'm going to – if I if we could see 40 points out of Taylor Hall, I'm satisfied with it. I have – on my IR, so I've got to get, I got to drop two – well, I may only drop one. I may end up – I, on my IR, I have Taylor Hall and Logan Couture. Logan oh, Couture is 35, huh? I would say drop Couture. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because he, his career's over. He's kind of even hinted at his career is basically yeah. over. So that way I, I, I have to drop. I only have to drop one player, and I have guys I can drop. I mean, I have uh, Matt Kessel. I have Ryan Suter. Um, I have Marcus Johansson. I have uh, uh, Jimmy Vesey. I mean, I got guys that I could drop if I needed to, mm -hmm. right, that I could find re decent replacements on the waiver wire. Yeah. Right? And that's that's basically how I play my team. I have four or five guys that I take them off and bring guys in. So we don't have a limit on how many guys you could have in a week. Evan Bouchard just stole a goal. Right. So since we don't have that, uh, we don't have that, that. Well, also um, I got Alex Lafayette. He's going to come off of minors. So mm -hmm. actually I'll have to drop somebody else. I'm, I'm not dropping him. I'm, I'm keeping him. I mean, 22 points in your rookie season is not bad. Yeah. Right. Um, I also have a Chicago rookie, uh, Isaac one? Phillips. He won't be with the Blackhawks probably next year. You don't think so? You think they'll trade him? Yeah. He hasn't had, didn't get much playing time when he was called up this season, and they had him called up for almost 40 games this year with the Blackhawks. He played 33. Yeah, and the majority of the time he was called up, he was in the press box. Yeah, so um, I don't have a good minor system, and I know that, and I actually have a lot. I have like 10 open or how many do I have? I have six open minor spots. Mm -hmm. So I might this season really chrome comb through the guys on the minors that are like, you know, third and second and third round picks that yeah. haven't been pulled up yet. You know, might be a little bit older. I, I might do that and try and pull guys like that. Well, I had a defenseman from Boston. 
What? I had a defenseman from Boston. I can't remember his name now. Um, he was on my minors, but he ended up uh, he ended up getting too many games, you know, playing enough games that he came off. And and I had to, I, I had guys come off of, I had to let him go, and he ended up getting picked up. Surprisingly, mm. actually, he he stayed out there for a while. Then he got picked up. So I forget what his name was. I have to, if I look, I won't remember it. Oh, if much, Winnipeg uh, beats LA, that's going to help the Blues. But the Blues have got to win tonight's game. Absolutely have to win tonight's game. You could watch the um, highlight I ended up getting a record, like a video of last night oh, from the game. This one? Yeah. Here we go. I wasn't sure, you know, it looks like, is it the end of it or did something else happen? So 12 seconds before this play happens, they just yeah. scored. I okay. left the camera running. Okay. And Here then we go. it goes into it. So they just celebrated a goal. Oh, wow. Who is that screaming? Is that you? Was that you screaming? That was me. Come on. Who, who was it? Greeky? Yeah, that, that was me. Screaming? But who, who was the player's name you were yelling? What? It sounds like you say, come on, Greeky. Frank Nazer. I yelled out Frankie. Oh. Oh, no, Frankie. I said Frankie. Okay. Yeah. Was Frankie the one that got beat? Or is he the one that threw the puck behind what? behind him? Say again? That was the uh that was who did the between the leg no look pass across the ice. That's Frank Nazer, who the black who is the black Hawks prospect. Come on, Frankie! Oh! oh! That's a great facility there, isn't it, Centine? Yeah, it's a nice one. I've played at it. Right. I played on that ice uh, surface before. Yeah. Now, now that you've um, seen the game, and how? I mean. I, I haven't seen a game in there. How were the concessions and the seats and all that other stuff? Seats aren't the comf aren't the comfiest. Yeah. Concessions are easy. Um it does get crowded up on to up on that area where all the walking is by the concession yeah. stand. It does get super crowded. I think that's I think that's for the standing room but, only stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it it's not bad. Uh. But yeah, that was a highlight real play by Frank Nazer, who the Blackhawks drafted in the first round in 2022. Um, Is he going to go this year or next year? He, gonna, he, he gonna... should be with the Blackhawks next season. He won't be able to make the Blackhawks this year because of the Frozen Four. You were ejected from a game on that ice. What did you do to get ejected from a game, Shockey? It doesn't surprise me. The hell are you getting ejected on a beer league? Well, because he's not, because he doesn't play beer league. He plays uh, the warrior hockey, warrior tournaments and stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I didn't know, so. This one. This one. Okay. I didn't know. So, I, mean, I yeah, thought they all, I thought he may have also played beer league too, so. I, I think, I, I he may, but I think that he, at Centene, 
He primarily plays for the Warriors. Okay. Yeah, what did Blues you do to get ejected in that up. game? <laughs> Say again? I'm just wondering yeah, what they... he did to get ejected. Yeah. Two goals called back from Edmonton. That that was a high stick. First of all, they were legitimate goals. Both the goals that have been called back were legitimately called back. Hopefully, if I have a chance, and hopefully if Frank Nazer in Michigan wins the um, tournament, mm -hmm. I end up having him sign this book. Yeah. That's cool. Are you going to the Frozen Four? Where is it this year? No, I'm not. It's in Minnesota. Yeah. Well, that's close enough to drive. You could drive it. 10 hours, maybe. Well, we got 12 seconds left to four on three. I'm not going to. I can't. Oh, why'd you play back on that one? Oh, it was a beer league team, he said. Oh. If I'm reading that right. I sticked a guy, turned and slashed yeah, okay. my it knee. Okay, it was a beer league. Okay. An ankle. Okay. Sorry, I no, assumed I first. I just assumed it was beer league. Yeah. Well, I thought, and I know that he does, I know that he does right. the warrior hockey, so. Yeah. I, I can scored try, Eliza. five goals on that ice. Say again. In a tournament I was in, I scored five goals in that tournament on that ice surface. I was a goal per game player in that tournament. I got he got ten for every guy that I pulled down and wound up with forty minutes. Wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, you'll be happy. Am I behind? I think so. Yeah, I'm way behind. There we go. Yeah, I'm behind. I need to do a refresh to be fresh. I don't know if that was a power play goal or not. It might have been. Uh, No, it was even strength. Even strength, yeah. I think now I can... I can Okay, here we go. Puck drop. I just saw the puck drop. Yeah. All right, so am I caught They're up actually now? now? A couple of seconds ahead of me. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I broke my wrist. Yep. Ended my hockey career. Yeah, I was playing in a tournament... Hey, get away, get away. Surgery. I played a tournament in that rink um, back in June. It was called the Third Line Hockey Tournament or something like that. Yeah. Well, fun. There was actually a draft system to it, so you had to yeah. be drafted to a team. Oh, well, those can be fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, I, I refresh mine. I'm watching it on Hulu. I just did a refresh. Sometimes my my internet's been choppy today. I didn't realize I was so far behind. But I'm at seventeen eighteen, and they're about to drop yes. the puck on in the blue zone. And I'll say it. Puck, no. It looked like he was going to drop it. Now he's moving somebody. This is my problem with the streaming of games. Puck They're drop. always behind and... 
Well, I know. Yeah, Brady I've been watching. Was at the games. We were. We've been I talking about the game yesterday. a little bit. Say again. I was just, I was also flying at the same time. Yeah, I I was at the game yesterday, uh, Lance. Oh, McDavid throws a cross check, so we cross check him, and they call the penalty on us. Wow. Yeah, I watched a little of the Michigan North Dakota game. Actually, no, watched, the one before that, the Western Michigan Michigan State game. I watched the third period. Of I watched that. all uh, three of the regional games. I was at the game for Michigan Michigan State. Watched Michigan versus North Dakota and the uh, Western Michigan versus Michigan State game. I watched that one. Michigan State's luckily they got they didn't lose that game. They should have lost it in my eyes. I mean, Michigan State was the number one ranked team this year. Yeah. Yeah, but Western Michigan, I mean, from what I saw, they were out playing them until the very end. And Michigan State, or Western Michigan, had a chance for an empty netter and just missed it. That empty mm. netter goes in, game over. Mm-hmm. What's that, Chris? What's, so you'll be in Chicago and miss the puck cancer game? Yeah, puck versus uh, the, there's a, a game at, with there's there's a whole bunch of former NHL players coming in the puck cancer game. It's a benefit for uh, um, oh, I can't think of his name now. Somebody help me out, Kelly Chase. All right. What you day need to is play it? the mighty Shin? I don't know why. Well, yeah, he did score that first goal. So, what day is it, Chris? I think it's this weekend. Is it this week? When when are you supposed to be in uh, Chicago again? Chelius and Belfer will be there. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Friday at seven. I won't be in Chicago yet. Yeah. Tickets. So you might if you if you, what you might have to get is a it play, quick. Is it taking it's place at Fifth Third Arena? No, it's oh. at Centene. He made it sound like it's in Chicago. By no, how he, he said wrote you will it. Miss. That's how I was. He reading. said you will miss. Yeah, it's it's in Centene. Okay. By the way, Shockey, you need to send me a text. I got to do that interview with you about the uh, Honor Our Vets. I got to start writing that article. It's, I've got until the end of the month. Got to get with you and Jessica and some others and try and get the information so I can write the article. I've actually got an opening for it. So I have an op I've been working on an opening while I was driving this weekend. Blues Preds are going to be a Hulu game also. Wonder which Belfour Eagle mask will be worn. Oh, what a shot. Yeah. It says uh, sales go to Skyman and the Jimmy V, the Jimmy V Foundation, the Steinman Cancer Center. Okay. And that's where Kelly Chase was getting hmm. treated and where, uh, um, Layla got treated. I could maybe uh, Nate, drive out there on Friday to see it. You got to get tickets. You need to get it. It's a ticket only thing. How do I get ticket? Uh, tell Shocky, send me how to get tickets, and then I'll send that to uh, Wendy. He's not on Facebook, he's only on Twitter. So. He can't. One goal lead is not safe against this team. You have to get that. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. God, you watch this game. How do you? Hey, even watching this game, 
watching this game, how can you not put Bennington in the top seven or eight goalies in the league? I just don't trust him as a top goalie in the league. I just, that's how I view him as. And this game, he's playing great. I will admit that. But but this is how he's he been does, playing all season. He's played this way all season. I've seen other. I've seen games where he hasn't. Uh, I mean, one or two maybe, but for the majority of the season, he's played this well. He is he has played better than his numbers. Shockey, send me send me the puck cancer information so I can get it to Wendy so he can get a ticket if they're still available. Oh, that almost what, made it three, two, two. I will have to Hell see what my schedule there. looks like, but I might be able to drive out there to see the thing uh uh here we go uh, I'm sending it to your ex here in a second there, Wendy. Okay. There you go, bud. Okay. Let's see what this is. Thank you. Um, Wendy has something against Bennington. He has no actual reasons or facts to defend his point of view. Just emotion. And, and you know what? I I, I I kind of agree with that, Wendy. I, I think that you, you're, you, you have some emotion against him, and, and it clouds your judgment again a little bit. Tickets are what, 50 bucks? But it's the same way. But you know what? And I say this. VIP or 500. Wow. Yeah, I'm not doing VIP. Uh, Gretzky's going to be there. It's and country music star room. Garth Brooks and Dirk Sprickly. And the guy that played Joe on Full House. I don't remember who Joe was on Full House. Oh, Joey. I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know you. Dave Coutier. Dave Coutier. That's it. Cut it out. There you go. Um, but it's the same. You know how you feel about Bennington is how I feel about uh, um, Bedard. So, uh, to be fair, mm. You get to hang out. You know, that's great, but $500 is a lot to hang out with people. I, I, I don't have $500 just to, to go. Yeah. Is, St- is Stamos, is Stamos going to be there? Yeah, it's Stamos. It's Stamos is Joey. Yeah, well, he wasn't Joey. He was uh, Jesse. Oh, yeah. He said Joey, so that Joey was Dave okay. Coltier. Right? He said play Joe, so Joey... Nope. Nope. Joey was uh, Coltier. Uncle Jesse. Jesse and the Rippers. Oh, nice stick there. Nice stick. 9.30 to go for it. It feels like the game is close to the end. Oh, it, no, it is Dave Coltier. It's, it's Dave. Okay. Okay. Are the only two Blackhawk alumni Chelios and Belfour? Oh, hold on a second. Let me minimize this so I can see it. See if it's showing, if it says on here who's coming. Team rosters, Blue, NHL alumni. Uh, Ed Belfour. Stu Grimson, I see. Uh, let's see. Ed Belfour. 
Jesse Bolis, Brian Boyle, Adam Burrish, Chris Chelios, Dave Coltier, Michael Garnett, Cami Garnado, Adam Graves, Stu Grimson, Adam Hall, Glenn Healy, Jamie Huskoff, Curtis Joseph, Cujo, Paul Kelly, Trevor Lewis, Kevin McGuire, Ryan Malone, Brad Marsh, Wendy McCleary, Jim McKenzie, Craig Newhouse, George Paros. Oh, somebody hit Paros. That's the guy that George runs. George Paros? Uh, that, isn't that the guy that does uh, NHL yes, safety? Yes, that is. Ben Shivens, Craig Simpson, D.B. Sweeney. Oh, he's I know who D.B. Sweeney is. You know who D.B. Sweeney is, right? Huh? I see Brian Trottier on here. Yeah, Brian Trottier and Troy Wolford. You know who D.B. Sweeney is? No. Um, do you remember the, oh, if I could think of it now, the, the movie Cutting Edge? No. The one with the hockey player and the the uh hockey player and the figure skater. Yeah, so do, no. have you, yeah, have you seen uh do you ever watch Mountain Men on uh Mountain Men on um history? No, I don't watch history channel. Yeah. Uh he's the uh he's the uh, um narrator on that, but he played a hockey player in the cutting edge that um, ends up becoming a figure skater. Okay. Right. So, yeah. So for Blackhawk alumni, it looks like I've and noticed Curtis said he didn't want to go. So it's uh, me, Leanne and Adam are going to, you have an extra ticket. Maybe you could help. You could hook, uh, hook our boy Wendy up. If you have an extra ticket there, bud, if you don't, that's fine. Uh oh, tornado siren. Be careful in Springfield. Yeah, be careful, bud. The Blackhawk alumni that are playing would be Belfour, Burge, Chelios, and Stu Grimson. Yeah. I I would consider Cami Granado a kind of Chicago alum just because she yeah. is from Chicago. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, 8.38 to and go. Still 2-1 to one Blues. Right? St. Louis is um behind in shots 30-26, to 26, but in this period they're behind 8-3. to three. Come on. This is that prevent... You, Teams need to learn how to play prevent offense. If they played that. Oh, what a save by Skinner. What a save. Yeah, I noticed Do you Sean think... Payton on the What? Sean Payton, the head coach for the Broncos, is, is coaching the yeah. alumni there team. You go. That's weird. Yeah. Um, I just read today the Green County. Uh, that Green County where I live is second in, in Missouri for the most tornadoes in one county. Wow. Be careful, bud. Be careful. I know the president, a couple of years ago, the president of the Blues Warriors house got hit by a tornado. Damn. Ah. Uh. I am just hoping Frank Nazer and Michigan wins the Frozen Four yeah. this year. Well, and actually, I, so, a, I think. I have, no. Oh, what? oh! I know what I wanted to tell you, and I just forgot about it, and it might be too late. Um, the Blues are auctioning it off jerseys, and it, God, I wonder if it's too late. It might be. Uh, there's a Jamal Mares jersey, a Blues Jamal Mares Blues jersey. Mm -hmm. That is, oh, nope, it's closed. Damn it, I forgot to tell you about it. I meant to tell you about it because it was actually, well, it went a little higher than I thought, but it ended up going for $646. Uh, the white, the the white um, clown jersey. The away, Did he wear that, that home? jersey? Huh? Would he have worn that jersey? 
Yeah. 96, 97. Hmm. Game. It said it said it was a game worn jersey. All right. The jersey is tagged to set one. Really jersey like shows signs of wear and tear. I would not have bought it anyways because it's a Blues jersey. <laughs> Looks like Winnipeg's helping us out, boys, boys and girls. Right? Oh, maybe not. Uh, no, that, that's behind. I don't think you're going forward. to catch LA. They're only three points. Well, if, if we win and they lose, they're only three points. But I think they have a game in hand. 44 seconds left in the third. Jets are up four to three. I think, oh, Mike Zook's playing, my buddy. I got a, I, I know a lot of these guys that are playing. Uh, Brian Elliott's going to be, that's the one that I want to talk to. Yakman, Campbell, Paul Cavallini. Uh, I'm trying to see if any of the, like, former, Jamal Mayers is playing for the Blues, so Jamal okay. Mayers will be there also. Surprise, Tony Twist is going to play. I didn't think he could play. So, Brendan Shanahan, damn, I wish I was there. I wonder if Mayers would sign a uh, Jamal Mayers Blackhawk jersey. He would. He told you he would. Yeah, I know. I have one. Huh? I now have a Jamal Mayer jersey. Yeah. Remember, we, we had, enough, I asked him that. I asked him that when we went yeah. off, when we were done recording. All right. That was still when he was with the Blackhawks. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure he would. I mean, all you got to do is remind him. Yeah, I know. Hey, remember me? I did a, a podcast with you and, and the guy from the Blue Note Fan Report. And guy from Blue uh -huh. Note Fan Report. Because I could probably f just by paying 50 bucks. And this is all for charity? Like the yeah. tickets go to charity? Yeah, everything goes to charity. Okay. I, I'll look into it and I have to check my schedule for Friday. I'm not 100% sure what's going on Friday, but I might be able to make it. <coughs> oh my goodness. Choking to death here. 2-1 Blues with 6.25 to go against the Oilers. Oh, man. I'm just choking to death today. At least ESPN didn't give you guys the late part game. The what? The uh, typical ESPN late start. Oh, no, it did. It started an hour late. It, started, it was an 8 o'clock oh, game versus a 7 o'clock game. Yeah. <clears throat> well. Oh. Shen's, oh, I didn't realize Shen had the two goals. Oh, wow. Dumb, dumb, give me gum, gum. I knew he had one. I didn't realize he had the other one. One power play, one not power play. But that one was bright as the power play ended, I think. Yeah. Got a hatty watch. I'm not wearing my hat. He could use it. Oh, yeah, Shen could absolutely hour. use a hatty. See, that's what I was saying when when it comes to Matthews. He has more hat tricks this season than than probably most of the teams do. When you think about that, I, I bet you he has more hat tricks than twenty teams. 
I don't know. Let, let me try one thing here. Um, uh, the Blackhawks have two hat tricks. Can you name it? Try and name who are the hat trick scorers for the Blackhawks. Yeah, hold on. Trying to see if I can come up with just like hat tricks for a team, and I'm I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's not on here. I guess I gotta, I'll have to look somewhere else for it. Need this win. That's all we need. Yep, Kings lose. Oh, tight game. Yep, ouch. Ouch. Who was that? Drysdale? He, he was right. Yeah. Uh, looks, yeah, it was. Yep. Great pass by McDavid, though. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Nothing Back Bennington could play. do for that. Nothing Bennington could do for that. That's that. Letty's got to stop that. Letty's got to get a stick there. Or, Let, or Letty's got to be I'm our really Drysdale. I am I am honestly glad that Frank Nazer is in this tournament right now yeah. and not eliminated where he'd signed yeah. his would have signed his ELC and burnt a year of his contract and making it where the Hawks would have had to pay him, Bedard and Korchinski all at the same year once oh, our yeah. ELCs are up. So get to see him next year potentially if he doesn't want to stay for another year of college i doubt he does i think he wants yeah. to be in the nhl the if next i'm season. him i mean iowa how many games iowa got left to be better to sign go do a, a tryout with iowa you know sign a minor league contract and then sign your, iowa? your deal huh wait what your your minor league team the Oh no, you're not the Iowa. Not I. I forget who your minor league team is. The Ice Hogs. Rockford. P Rockford, yeah. Uh, he. I don't think he'll sign a amateur contract with the Ice Hogs because I, he won't get any playing time in the playoffs. He's had a. He played a lot of hockey this year already with the World Juniors. He's now in the Frozen Four. It, I can't see him sign a um, a um, amateur contract with the um, Ice Hogs to go into the playoffs. Oh. The Ice Hogs are honestly a team who. No, oh, they're great. Say, wow. Forward. Hyman Hyman had a great look, and Bennington stoned him. If I'm not mistaken, the Ice Hogs may have clinched the playoff spot tonight. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at the AHL playoffs. The Ice Hogs yesterday, their magic number turned down, to, went down to one. So I'm assuming they probably clinched a playoff spot today. Which, if that's the case, I'm ready for a nice uh, playoff run by the ice hogs this year i'll tell you in a second springfield will probably not make the playoffs this year no they have not clinched yet they are third okay so they're still waiting on a team to get they, they their well, magic they do numbers it, they, down to one they do it by uh percentage there they don't do it by points they do it by points percentage yeah 
I know for sure their magic number was down to one last night. Yeah. Um, the Ice Hawks are the Thunderbirds are seventh. Um, they've got 63 points. Actually, they could still sneak into fifth. And I think, I don't know if that would give them a, uh, 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 a spot or not. Top six finners in the Atlantic Division, top five in the North and Central. I think we're in the Atlantic, so we just need to come up one spot. Yeah, we're in the Atlantic, so we just need to get you one spot. We're only two ever... points back, so the Springfield could get could get in to a playoff Is spot. St. Louis ever going to have an AHL team actually close to St. Louis? Probably not, unless they could repair. The stuff with Peoria and get Peoria back into the AHL because I think Peoria is in the ECHL. Yeah, they are, but that no, they aren't even in the ECHL. Right, Peoria, I don't even think exists as a Rivermen anymore. And like, no, they do have a Rivermen. I I just I know they do. I just don't know what league they're. I don't think it's ECHL. I think it's um. I don't, I know it's not ECHL. I don't know what it, there are now. How do you spell Peoria? P E R. I O R A. I think that's it. No, that's not it. It's close, but it's not it. Ah, we were close. P E P E O R I A. Okay, I was close. I was one letter yeah. off. One of Illinois' top professional. What? Semi professional. It says semi professional hockey teams. Uh, okay. I am not sure what league they're in. I'm trying to find it. SPHL? Yeah, SPHL. Okay. So, Other than professional, really yeah. So. You'd have to be you'd have to be able to, to mend your fence with them and get them back into the AHL. Why don't they get a team in Missouri as an AHL affiliate? Maybe in Kansas City. I think there is a team in Kansas City. No. I thought Kansas City had a minor league team. They don't have an AHL or an ECHL team. I don't know if they have a 10,000 seat arena for it. Doesn't have to be. Play in uh, Independence where they played that Blackhawks Blues preseason game a couple of years ago. Yeah. Well, we've had. So we were with the Rivermen, then we went with the Wolves. We lost the Wolves to Vegas. Or not, no, to somebody else. Vegas. And then we went down to uh, San Antonio, and Vegas took that team. Yeah. Right? So we lost two teams to Vegas. And then they moved that team to Vegas. Here's the thing. There's one team in the AHL that's non-affiliated now. Do you know what team that is? Is that the Wolves? Yeah. Yeah. Mavs and KC. Oh. Well, we're going to OT, looks like. 
So but we have they, to win the point. We have to win the point. The overtime loss does not help us. It hurts us. Then pull your goalie. Test it. No, 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 no. Do not do that stupid shit. <laughs> do not do that stupid up. shit. I couldn't believe they did it a second time. You tested fate there. Yeah. You that absolutely tested fate there. Playing not to because lose there, scares me. Minnesota at this point is officially unofficial. Um, I seen something unofficial. today. Somebody sent me something today that had them with a. Oh, McDavid. I don't know if he got it. Wow, the horn sound. I thought McDavid might have scored. It, I think hit the pipe. Oh, did it? Yeah. Um, no, he fired it wide. Uh, okay. What was I going to say? I, couldn't oh, I forgot what I was going to say now. You brought up something I couldn't. The goalie pull? Yeah. The, I seen something today that had Minnesota with a 6% chance of making the playoffs and the Blues with a 4% chance. <laughs> We're three points ahead of them. The, whatever, What's the schedule whatever, difference, log, though? Whatever logarithm does this stuff, logarithm that does this stuff, they do not give the Blues any credit whatsoever. That Puckpedia, I wonder they're horrible if it's when it comes also, to Blues. I wonder if it's level of competition – in the final, like, seven to eight games. I, I, I don't know, but they've had they've had Minnesota. We've been ahead of Minnesota the majority of the year. The majority of the year, they've had Minnesota ahead of us as playoff chance. Hmm. Going all the way back to, like, January, right? Yeah. Here's a question. Do you think Marc-Andre Fleury plays his final game this year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's not, he's not going to catch Bordeaux or, or both um, Martin Bordeaux, right? He's not going to catch him, right? Yeah. He has, he, he's got what? One cup, two cups, two cups. There's nothing else he three. can do in his career, huh? He has three cups. Did he, did he get three with uh, Pittsburgh? Yeah. Okay. He was technically the backup in both uh, 16 and 17 and in the cup run. Yeah. But yeah, he was there. Well, I was thinking the one before that, that when they won it back in uh when did, when did they win like their third cup? Because they have five cups. I think they have five cups, huh? Two thousand nine. That was the one I wasn't sure of. Yeah. Yeah, he was a starter. Come on, we're in overtime. God this scares me. David we have to win this. There. We have to win this. The Oilers could still win the division. Yeah. Oh, man. Vancouver's been scuffling the last couple, yeah. like the last month. Right. I really think... Edmonton could be a team that could win that division if Vancouver oh, doesn't man, watch out. Oh, man, Thomas just lost the puck. Oh, man, they're just – they're playing not to lose, and that's going to – oh, great save by Bennington. I'll tell you where, if, if St. Louis was to put a team somewhere, you know, like a, like a, a minor league team. AHL team. Yeah, I think that the best place would be Springfield. Oh, man, good pass. It was just off There's the no stick. There's no arena there. Oh, I think they have something. I, I think they think have something. I so, though. Say again? I don't think they do. What, call them the uh, freaking Springfield Lincoln Logs? <laughs> no, um...
Oh, puck's loose. No, uh, oh, what is that? There's a play in Branson, and I can't think of the name of it now. Uh, Shepherd of the Hills, right? Yes! Oh, my goodness! Sod! Sod picks the puck up at the blue line, goes in all alone and beats Skinner for the winner point. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Holy cow! We are not dead yet. We are close to dead, but we are not dead yet. Wow! Look at that. Sod comes over and just grabs a puck. Skinner doesn't stand a chance. Wow. What what a what a change in the in the trajectory of this game. Oh man, it's going to be a hard game to figure out who the three stars are. Cuz I I it's hard not to give Skinner one. Right? I think it's hard not to give Skinner one. Uh who would your three stars of the game be, Wendy? I will give one to Bennington. Okay. Yes. The guy who hate it says Bennington's one of the worst, well, like not a top goalie in the league. It gives him a star. Well, uh, now Shen, I know. Who, well, yeah. I know who they are now. So I would say Bennington, Shin, and third star. Probably third Sod star with the game winner. It, it's going to be Bennington, Sod, Shin. It's going to be Bennington, Sod, Shin. Okay. Bennington so third, I, Sod, Bennington third, Sod second, Shen first. And, and, and I know this because I saw him set, I saw him the way they lined up. Oh no, Sod was third. Sod, third star of the game. Okay, I got that wrong. I saw him line Shen up. Second. Shen second, and Bennington's gonna be first. What a game! Yeah, the game you needed to win. And and Wendy's most hated player. Oh, actually, no, I was wrong. Okay, Shen was the first star. So third star went to Ekholm. Second star went to Saad. First star went to Shen. I I have an argument with that. I have a pretty solid argument with that. I mean, I get it. Eckholm had two points, um, scored the first goal and a secondary assist, but you, you got to give it. You got to give one of the. I, I don't know. I I, I struggle with that. I think that. Uh, I I think that it should have been Bennington Saad Shin, though I could be wrong. What do you think, there, uh, Lance? Man, I don't have a problem with three stars of the game. I. What, what a lot of people are going to miss in this is yeah. a couple of the very good plays that Jordan Kyrie made in that in that overtime. Oh, yeah, he did make some good plays. Along the boards there game. against the Edmonton players to allow the puck to go to Saad. Yeah. I mean, nobody's going to be talking about that, but, you know, no, does he, does he deserve a start of the game? No. Yeah. But he, he made a big play there. But I agree with you. Bennington's got to get one of those top three stars. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I'm kind of on that. I think Saad should have gotten it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And it was a game the Blues needed to win. They really needed to win it in uh, regulation. But, you know, you, you got the overtime win. I guess you got to take, take take what you can get when you get them, right? Well, can you imagine if they hadn't laid a turd on Saturday? They'd only be a point behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they would be. They'd be right there. You know what? I said something. Uh, I talked about this earlier. I, I told somebody, think about this. If we fired Baruby one week earlier, we'd be in the playoffs right now. Right? We would have won three of those four games, from, from that, three to four games more than well, where we're at right now. Also, just imagine if they would have gotten rid of him before the season and brought in a decent coach. Yeah. We, we, we we may not we may not even be talking about the blues need to win this many games and the blues yeah. need to be you know do this and do that 
Uh, we're not chasing Edmonton, so I'm not worried about the point. <laughs> that That's kind of true, but, it, you know, well, the thing is, every point that other teams get is points that you need to get. You know, they, they, they move that number up. It helps move that number up a little bit in my eyes, right? You know, the, the, you know, the, any team, mm-hmm. any team here could go on it. You know, uh, uh, I mean, the Oilers could go cold and lose their next seven games. Right now, is it likely? No, but it could happen. Right. Murphy's law, you know, if it can happen, it possibly will. Right. Um, and, and that's something that you've got to be aware of. I, I thought the, the challenge of the goaltender interference was a good challenge. Did, did you see my post on uh, Twitter? I, I was list going back and forth between both feeds, watching the game between the Edmonton no. feed and the Blues feed. No. At, while going on at the same time, the Oilers um, um, people were saying, it's definitely a good goal. I don't know why that I don't know why it was challenged. And then Vitaly and what's his face were okay. saying, nope. It's a bad goal. It's it's going to get called back. I just found it funny that it ended up being a good goal. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, which one on the Blues one? Yeah, on, on the Blues yeah. goal on that last on that shin goal. Oh yeah, on the shin goal. Yeah, that was that was absolutely a good goal. There yeah, because nothing. because because Edmonton was saying Torpachinko didn't get involved in it, and and the Blue side was saying Torpachinko did get involved in it and had had interference. No, he he, it, he wasn't uh, anywhere near getting involved in it. No, not anywhere near. Now, now the one that Edmonton had called back, right? That was absolutely he he. You, you see him move Bennington's pads to where Bennington has to reset himself, and that's why he lifts his leg up to try and reset himself, and that opens the hole. Yeah, the the Oilers right? the Oilers announcers even said that that was goalie interference. Oh, they did. Yep. Yeah. Right. My here's my biggest thing, right? If you challenge for goaltender interference and you win, that when the Blues won that challenge, they should have gotten a power play. Mm-hmm. When you win a goaltender interference, you should get a power play. Because if you lose, you're double punished. If you win it, you're not. You're the other team's only single punished. Both teams. When well, you yeah lose, yeah yeah because. Under the rules, goaltender yeah. interference, interference is a two-minute penalty. penalty. Yeah. If you go right. back so and say, it, yes, it was goaltender interference, then it shouldn't be a goal, and it, and it, and it should be a penalty. It should be a penalty. That's right. right. Absolutely should be a penalty. And, and I think that that needs – they're talking about doing this change with yeah. high sticking yeah. and, and pucks over the net where you get a five on three. Yep. Great. Do that for – Goaltender interference. If you're going to do it on this stupid-ass play, do it on the one that counts. And not only that, if they did it, and I said this earlier, Wendy, you can, you can you know, verify this. If they do it, you're going to see goaltender interference go way down. You will not see as many players going that close to the, um, to the crease if they're going to start calling it and going on penalties. Right, I absolutely believe that that's how you eliminate goaltender interference, or at well, least get it to I, where it's I, nowhere near what it is now. Also, think it would help in that respect is if they actually followed the rules and called it when it was supposed to be called. Yeah, because you know, I mean, if it's called when it's supposed to be called, then yes, it's a two-minute and you know, a yeah. two-minute interference penalty. But, you know, we've seen a lot of these games where it's not called when it should have been a two-minute interference penalty. I think they've got to get both of them right. You know, they've got to get the high-sticking thing right. They've yeah. got to get the goalie interference right. And, you know, it, it's it, it, it's like you said. If, if it's goaltender interference and they say that, you know, uh, no goal, goaltender interference, then there should be a penalty. That's the only yeah. common-sense thing to do. Yeah. Now, I want to I wanna address – Mike's I said, always disagreed with the notion of altogether penalizing a team for challenging at all. What's the harm in making sure the correct call was or wasn't made for the integrity of the game? The problem was they were using it as a fake timeout. 
Yep, to give people rest. Right. That that's what they were using it as as a as a timeout to 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 give people rest. And you lost your timeout. They should have just called the timeout. But since you're calling timeout, why not review it? When in all actuality, it was it should have never been reviewed. That was the problem with it. And I get that. I understand that. My issue here is, pardon me, you've now made it. You've made it better for one side than the other, right? If you're going to, you know, I th- and I don't think I agree with not penalizing. What I th- well, the type of penalty I think is, is you could do instead of a two minute is a five minute misconduct, right? And the way you do this, I th- you, you got to listen to what I'm saying about how I think you should do this. Prior to the game, you submit a list of five players to the other team. So I submit a list of five players, five Edmonton Oilers players to the Edmonton Oilers coach. The Edmonton Oilers coach submits a list of five blues to the blues coach. If you lose the penalty, you lose the challenge. One of those five players has to go in the box for the five minutes of a misconduct or more. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Or you can, instead of five, make it three, three players. But one of those players, and you can only do it once a game, that player. So if you challenge and lose three times, right? One, two, three, you could, at that point, you, you wouldn't be able to challenge anymore. So, you know, obviously if, if I'm the blues coach, I'm going to have my, my three guys would be uh, McDavid, Drysdale and R and H. And then, what will happen is, okay, Edmonton Edmonton challenges and, and loses, right? Though one of those three players is who they have to put in the box for the five minutes. They have to pick one of those three players. I don't like the pen- – be honest, I don't like the penalty shot at all. I really don't. I think the penalty shot – penalty shot's like a solo home run when you're down by three. It kills, it kills a uh, rally. The solo home run kills a rally, right? So I don't like, so to me, that's what a penalty shot does. It, it kills a rally. You know, I think if you miss the penalty shot, you should get a one-minute power play. I know Wendy doesn't like that one. I don't either. I don't either. Well, think about it. What is, what is the average chance of you scoring on a, on a power play? 20 20%? Right around 20%. Yep. What is the average on scoring on a on a on a uh penalty shot? It depends on who's shooting it. No. The overall yeah. league average. What is the league average for scoring on a penalty shot? I'd probably say what, somewhere in the 30% range. It's a little higher than that. 38%. It's 40%. Well, it's close. Right around, 38 40%. Right around 40%. Right? Now Here's the one thing you talk about. Well, it depends on who's shooting. Here's the other thing that if you want to really make the penalty shot something, it's not the player that was fouled. It's any player on the bench. Don't nah, give it I, to the I, player I, that I, was I, fouled. I, make it any I, player on the bench. I don't. I don't like that. I, I, well, think I, about this. I have. I have. Um, Nathan or not Nathan Walker. Let's say Jamal Mayers or, or you know or Tony Twist. On a breakaway, one-on-one with my goalie, if I trip him and it's a penalty shot, he's never made a penalty shot in his life. I'm going to trip him. I'm going to trip. It makes every sense in the world. I'm going to trip him. I'm going to pull him down. Penalty shot. He's probably going to miss. The yeah. chances, the likelihood of him scoring are, are, are very, very low. It yeah. is a high percentage shot for me to trip him. Now, Take that thought process away, and if you trip Tony Twist, Brett Hull gets the power, gets the penalty shot. It, just, the- it, it, does, it, it doesn't work because it gives it gives your team an unfair advantage in that penalty shot. Brett Hall didn't get tripped. It, you know, I I, I think that matter. opens things. It doesn't guy, matter. It I doesn't- think that opens things up to a can of worms. It's like if you get a penalty, you may as well say if you get a penalty called against you, you can put whoever you want to in the box. Because that's the same thing. 
do you remember do you remember a couple games ago when um somebody got a got a penalty shot against yeah. the blues yeah. for a, a, a broken stick or, or something like that mm-hmm. right and because it wasn't on a breakaway you could pick any player on the ice to take the shot well why 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 different why different why on a breakaway does it have to be that player if it can be any player on the ice on a play like that where you get the penalty shot, then for any penalty shot, it should be any player on the ice, not the player that was fouled. I don't like it, Wendy. What do you think? I'm, I don't like it. But what's the difference, though? Explain to me what's the difference. Because the, the, of, the, there's, of being... there's a huge difference because that guy was actually going in and could have scored. The other instance – the guy initially maybe could not have scored or maybe wouldn't even have been no. the guy on the puck that was going to end up having the scoring opportunity. It, it does, but see, but here, here we go. The guy that was fouled, the guy that was fouled that got the, that won the penalty shot. Wasn't the guy that took it, whether or not he had a chance to score didn't matter. It shouldn't matter. He was the one that was fouled. If you're going to allow them on a play like that to pick any player on the ice, then for the other one, it should be the same thing. It should be any player on the ice because you're giving a huge advantage. You're giving the advantage of picking a guy on the ice that's a goal scorer instead of it being the guy that got fouled that might not be a goal scorer. Yeah, but he, here's, case, here's no, guys, you, said, here's, you said earlier you can't because you're giving a huge advantage, but that's exactly what you're doing in this other case. No, 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 because here's the thing. Be you could have a guy like Brett Hall. Field. You could have a guy like Brett Hall, who let's yeah. say, and I'm making up these numbers. I don't know what okay. Brett Hall was on penalty shots. Let's say Brett Hall was 83 percent on penalty shots, okay? Mm-hmm. And he goes in and misses it because there's a chance he'll miss it. Is it a good chance he'll make it? Yes, but the odds are that he's going to miss it because it, you know you're not going to keep scoring um, short. You're not going to keep scoring goals on penalty shots. A guy that's zero for 13, the chances are actually in his favor because eventually he's going to score a penalty shot. I, I just I look at it my way. I understand. Well, guys, it, it's 6 o'clock here. It's kind of late uh, since the game started later. Yep. Uh, thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Lance, for joining me today. Blues win 3-2 to two in overtime. They are now three points right. out of a playoff spot. They're not dead yet, but they're getting close. I think that uh, L.A. has a game in hand. If I'm correct, I could I be think wrong so. on that. I think Say, so. I'll look real quick and see. I think they do have a game in hand. Yes, they have a game in hand yep. on us. So uh, you just need to keep winning your games. You win your games and you go from there. All right. And we could be the only team. Well, no. Oh, wow. I can't believe the Caps are going to make and the Flyers. Yeah. Wow. I'm looking yep. at the caps and the flyers at yep. their plus minus that their their goal differential. Yep. The uh flyers are minus seventeen and the caps are minus thirty one. Yep. I'm I'm planning on going to the either the game the blues game on the tenth or the twelfth. Yeah. So Okay guys. Well I gotta go. Have a great one. Thanks guys right. for showing up. See you up. later, Wendy. This is Guy saying Aloha Mahalo, and you know what the right. boys always say. Who I don't want to say, we're bleeding blue with you. Let's.